All right, I'm louder. That's good. According to Streamlabs, but let me listen. <laughs> All right, how is it compared to me? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit though. I forgot to grab myself a drink before I started. I probably should have done that. But oh well. One second, I'm checking something. What is up, KJ? How is it going, my man? All right, so are the, all the audio levels good and everything? Oh, wait, I uh, I pulled my curtain back because I had to record something for my public speaking class and didn't want Persona 5 in the background of a professional school thing. So there we go. Now I fixed it. All right. So what's up, KJ? How you doing? We're gonna be playing some more Danganronpa 2. Last chapter was pretty crazy. Um, turned out the killer was actually my favorite character, so that sucked. Monka scary bear game. Monka. Oh no, not scary bear game. You know, I want to play Phasmophobia. I was just watching a streamer play it. And it looks like it's really fun, but I don't have 15 bucks. <laughs> well, it's 13, technically, but probably around 15 with tax. But let's play. Also, I'm dressed up because I recorded that speech. Editing a YouTube video. Yo, let's go. I know how that feels. <laughs> Editing is a process, man. It is quite the process. It was so good. Thank you, KJ. Real sweet of you to say. I worked I worked real hard on it. I didn't go to sleep till like 9 in the morning yesterday because I was, uh, after I ended stream, I was just sitting there working on it. Uh, well, I, of course, I was watching streams and stuff while I did it, but I'm glad you enjoyed. Okay. After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. I already read a little bit of this yesterday because I was going to play it yesterday, but then I decided not to and just stopped. It was a great break in between classes. Awesome, awesome. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. You know... Every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um, the restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were in the beginning. Stupid fool. Get it together! Oh, huh? Did you hear something? Hey. Uh, it's Nikamaru! That was Koji Nikamaru's voice! Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer... <laughs> what are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in the restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was. <sighs> Don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Dumb good virgin, shut the fuck up. Oh man. Can't believe it. Hurt my feelings a little bit, Zach. No, nah, not really. How you doing, Zach? How you doing? Well, let me turn my light down a little. Well, not down, but like point it down, angle it a little better. Huh? Important. All right. This! It took me all night to make it. My. Is that a Nekamaru doll? 
Rune's <laughs> act. True, it happens. M Mini Maru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? Of course it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Uh, you oh, 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 oh. It's so cute. Thanks, I'll keep it. Oh. Huh? I never said anything about giving it away. Yeah, I'm alpha cool, not virgin. I'm cool and rich and your girlfriend wants me so bad. What girlfriend, bro? You know more than I do. That's crazy. I didn't even know I had one. I'll beat you up. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa, Whoa hey now. That's a bully's logic. Can she have bug you? True. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. Oh no, he's talking about... He's talking about Gamer Girl from Danganronpa, isn't he? Oh no! No! Hey, what's up, Julian? And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know? About Nekamaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. P Poggers. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. I should have grabbed a water before stream, but nah. Heh, <laughs> of course. In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. Gundam, please watch over me. What did you think of my little pep talk? Oh, oh nice. did you say something? Are you kidding? Uh, I was up all night memorizing that speech! Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. Gah, I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you could also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. That's amazing. What chapter am I on? Chapter 5. It says that in the good old title. Of course, I made it after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> you, don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the friggin' time. Well. But still... I'm a little worried about how he's acting during the last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey. And that's even more reason we should avoid him. But, still. but even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nakito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime. Isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? You know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it? Jeez. Get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard. What did he mean by, Except for Hajime? Huh? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. Is that all? Uh, what? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something I can just brush off. Especially since it's about me. Yes, talking reading games, visual novels. I mean, it's kind of a visual novel, but then there's also like somewhat of a dating sim aspect, but also somewhat of a murder mystery aspect. Um, the class trials are a lot more exciting than the reading parts, but there's a lot of reading in order to get to the class trials, so. But yeah, yeah, this is mostly a visual novel. I thought I just forgot. 
I thought I got into Hope's Peak Academy because I had talent all along. Also, welcome to the stream, Frop. But shit. My whole life. I just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting him to Hope Speak Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. How am I? I'm pretty good. How are you? Not some fucking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course. She's right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know, there's a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey. The hell? You're saying that all wrong. <sighs> so everyone was here. You're well, I'm glad to hear it. It, it was a real close battle. I, am sorry. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. This voiceover is cool. Thank you. I do want to, like, voice act and stuff in the future, so I figure playing games like this is good practice, and I like the story, so it's good to stream. <laughs> huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Huh? Uh, you saw me? Yes, that's right. The m mono beast this time was very strong. Yeah. Gross, don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. She bleeding, but she's a robot. How does that work? How do you know it's her blood? It could be the mono beast blood. Hey, hey. But then again, the mono beast's also a robot, so who knows? We'd probably have to play the 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 magical be the magical girl mono me mode, and figure that out, which we'll probably do after we beat the story. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> ah yes, I, I'm ashamed of myself. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that has never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. I see. What a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. Um. Heading class, see you later. It's Maro, Sir Drag. Alright, see you later, Frop. Don't tell me. This again. Good luck in class. You're gonna say stuff like, It's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to New Island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously we're gonna go, dumbass. Eh? Huh? So... Assuming we're thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my... Cause if we can't run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through this crap in one blow. Hey, I'll fight? Seriously. Thank you for the follow. My name is Celestial Ludenberg. Hey, I remember that character. F seriously? That fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why, you... Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass. I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia. What? D don't brag about that. Settle down. Settle... No, oh, well, she said that. I didn't need to read that. If you have the power to fight amongst yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. Right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonia talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right. All right. I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. The Future up. Foundation, Monokuma, Monomi. I'll crush them all at once. Yes. Even me? You guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know? Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. And I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island but the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department, and that filled me with this strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. It's 
smile at hope in the name of despair of daily life. Who do I think will die? I have no idea. This game doesn't really hint very well at, like, it doesn't really foreshadow many of the deaths, or at least not in a way that my small brain can understand. Like, literally any prediction I make would just be me throwing out a random name, and I don't think that'd be very... very decisive. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. And this is the last island. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi. As though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance to be sitting over a final island. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Sea King Industries. Huh? huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. Pog, you any gifters? Facts, Dragon X. Interesting name change. Interesting, interesting. I I probably wouldn't have even recognized you if I hadn't been told beforehand that you changed your name. I would have seen this sub badge and I would have been like, what? <laughs> wouldn't this guy sub? Get a load of this new guy. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh... I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Are you chanting Bragging X? <laughs> Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. Seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. My bow tie's a little tight. Dragon EX Pokemon card. <laughs> Facts. A body has been discovered. <laughs> Whoa, bro. My voice made me think like a body really was discovered. I thought Monokuma was talking, but it was my voice. Crazy, right? But this machine is making another machine. <laughs> uh. How am I doing what? The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, he just has those emotes from uh, channels he subbed to. Or something like that, probably. Hey, doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the Mono Beasts? Is there any chance that Mono Beasts were created here? The Mono Beasts were created here? You got gifted it? Nice, nice. Gifted is like when somebody gifts you a sub, Julian. Like when somebody buys a sub for you. Fine, fine. Yup! That's what this place is for! Hey, hey. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? That's why it's just fine. There's something wrong with you. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create a such dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this 
A mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Are you serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <laughs> hey, just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekamaru was made here? A robot. Pew, 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 pew. How close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. What, there's more stuff here? Do I talk to Kazuichi? <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. Well, obviously, what am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Sorry if I fidget in my chair a lot. I, I just can't get comfortable. Well, there, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever is using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. Thanks for the bit, Weiss. He was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It's such a horrible delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently global riots are occurring in, are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. Care person, I think I'm losing my mind. Oh no, that's not a manga idea. That's what's happening in the outside world if we remember what happened in the first game. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied, as infuriated, and frustrated with society. Not infuriated, I can't talk. Well, I can't read. Till eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. Footage of the riots started getting circulated, and strange incidents start occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? I know, right? Sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story ideas. Because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. But I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? <laughs> uh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course not. There's no way this is real. It's just more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. Hey, I get that reference. Death Note. Y you're right. It's just... A lot of unimaginable things have been happening to us, so maybe I keep getting a little confused. Yeah, yeah, Death Note. That's a classic. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> Did anybody else read that manga chapter that came out for Death Note recently? That was like a continuation of the story a little bit, but it was only a one chapter, like, uh, a one-off. It was, it was just a one-off. Anybody read that one-off of Death Note? Well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason? That's right. It's not so weird. This whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? Is it though? Maybe... There's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Huh? They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, I mean if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of these rich, perverted bastards. That sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. All right, we can leave here now. A 
military base? Is that thing over there? Is that a tank? I'm gonna make myself more a little more centered in the camera. There we go. Is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. The, this helicopter. Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Teruteru? This helicopter, don't screw with me. Ow. Hajime, what happened? It's nothing, I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it, I'm so weak. Or you just punched military grade metal helicopter. I mean, I don't think your weakness really plays a part here. It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Hey, there's a hidden Monokuma over there. Firearms! And there's a ton of them! There's a lot of different weapons like guns and anti-tank rockets carelessly stacked in here. Is that... Is it really alright to handle all these carelessly? I mean, anyone would think they're weak if they try to punch a military-grade helicopter. And then, you know, hurt their hand. I have so many mono coins. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? I don't know. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. A real man fights with his fists. That goes for women, too. You want to paddle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boot pillows. No thanks, Akane. Boot pillows? Um. This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather expensive. All right. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future Foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank no problemo. No problemo? Um. A course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. What kind of country is she... An obsession with anime, and now this? Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. Okay. Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, the stuff in this base probably won't be useful for us. Please wait. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um, well, I've discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. Is it the Future Foundation's insignia? Jabberwock Island Development Plan? What is this? You wish you were at her country? So, yeah, her country sounds interesting. I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? She kind of fine, though? Yeah, a little bit. You're not wrong. Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So, what does it say? Um, Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. Well? But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? You, she fine? <laughs> What's that mean? Why that you? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on! This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that be the future Foundation's responsibility? 
But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean this island was unaffected by it? You know, no, she's not your type. Fair enough. I cannot discern from this passage that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well? However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There is more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um. It was written there that the central island houses a large administrative building. However, we cannot find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? But according to this plan, the building that the future foundation is planning to use for the headquarters, could it be that same building? Um. They're planning to rebuild it and use it as the future foundation's headquarters. Or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it, what the hell is going on? Perhaps. We were so distracted by all the horrific situations that kept happening, one after another. We might have overlooked one more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Factory. Where was I added on Discord? Ah, that's where I was added. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? Hmm? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then... Do you want to go inside together? Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Yeah. Hey, Hajime. You're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? Uh, how could you tell? Yo, I'm that kind of person. I, I wait for the- I save it for last. I eat the sides first and then I go to the main course. I like to eat my favorite foods first. Hmm? So instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. I guess you're right. I accidentally gave her a little bit of a British accent because I was so used to reading Sonia. Alright, then I'm going inside. What the heck is this? What was being manufactured one after another and being carried away in the conveyor belt was... Monokuma. The conveyor belt's endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually... made into this stupid thing. Monokuma here? Yes, yes. The Monokumas are being tossed in this giant basket one after another. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Monokuma plushies? Uh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie, too. But unlike him, these are probably actually plushies. Ha! <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies! Life-size plushies? I was planning to hit the big time with these! That's why I'm making them like crazy! I'm gonna be rich! But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. 
I don't want it. Hmm. Mm. I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Yeah. Don't look down on me! Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the Kud's warehouse next door! Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? Y you're right. Then we should go there just for a little while. To the warehouse! Without thinking, I peeked into a pile of piled up stack of cardboard boxes. Where's Nagito? I don't know. He's not with us right now. There's a Monokuma calendar, Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First there was a Monokuma archive in the funhouse. Now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all BOOM! Then they'd stand out, you know. No store would sell your stuff. You're so of course not. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Hey. Enough already. You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it. Hey, hey, don't say that! Let's do our best together! We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s! Pog! As popular as Pogs were! Let's go! It's popular! Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. I won't forget because there's no merch of me! My little sister! Oh, Manomi, my little sister. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not a tortoise? Hey, um... A long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Please. Two old guys living together. The old guys thought, rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Cool. Huh. Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words. So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You, you did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. A JoJo's reference. We've had a Death Note reference and a JoJo's reference this chapter. Dude, let's go. Yeah. Ora! What a hopeless way of snapping but honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special pleading so whoever wants to decorate their room, please do it as much as you like. Here. Come on, what are you waiting for? Hajime, let's run. You're right. We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. You'll take one. It's like you just got tired. Yeah, you're right.
Hey, Hajime. I was looking for you. What's up, Fuyiko? I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. Yeah, she is always tired. You're right. I think I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Damn right. Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know Fuyihiko left the area. You actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. All right, looks like everyone's here. Huh? What about Nagito? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm. Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't really learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that's been going on. Well. Are we sure about that? Huh? huh? W what are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're not our ally, if they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey. Manomi works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma's forcing us to kill each other. Monomi's been opposing him. Huh? You mean, pretending to oppose him, right? What's wrong? No, I, do, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Huh. Then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait. Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? Like a three-way battle. That's kind of hot. Hey. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be no way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Kazuichi Shoda, Soda, shut up. Eh, yeah. ah, yes. Listen. There would never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh, my. Lied? Black yeah. sus. It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? Weak. How oh, weak. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. That weakness is hopeless. N Nagito! Where the hell did you come from? Let me get this Monokuma first. Hi, Nagato emo boy. No. Edgelord, Edgelord! Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where you thought, where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops. If I compared... You guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? Not here. What, what does that... Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. Ooh. Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Whoa, 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 Hold on. There were four of those. Five. Kyoko, Makoto, Byakuya, um, Hagakure, and Toko. 
There were five. There's not just one. Specify which one, Nagito. Or were there six? I might be forgetting someone, but who knows. I think there was five. Huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Byakia? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. Mm. What stage? You're not making sense at all. There's six? Okay, I don't remember who the sixth one is. Um... It was... Oh, and Aoi. Aoi. Asuhina. Asuhina. Yeah, so there's Toko, Byakia, Makoto, um, Hina, Hagakure, you know what, I, I know who they are, I know who, this, who the survivors are, I remember, what stage, you're not making sense at all, but still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Where would Byakia, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the beginning? Right. Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. This is not what he means. Please take back what you said about Byakia dying in vain. Right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You've been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagato we have been witness to. Hmm. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. Ah, oh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. Yeah, he did gain a bit of weight. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we find out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually. To tell you the truth... I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. But it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor. Even if it costs me my life. What? You're gonna weed out the traitor? Please, please. As I have already said, there is no traitor. <laughs> I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise up your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But... Why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? This is exciting. Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You... What the hell are you guys talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? You think there's a traitor each game? Maybe. I mean, you know what happens, though, so don't talk too much about that stuff. Uh, now then, I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. The next one will probably be the last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buff Girl was a traitor, but then she stopped being a traitor and ended up, you know, killing herself. Okay. Nagito, what does that mean? Bye, now. Bye. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? A uh, uh, kill? Who? Who's he gonna kill? No, Nagito's not that stupid. He's not gonna tell us that. Oh no, Madokuba doesn't need a motive and then kill. Like that would be a dead giveaway. <laughs> Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target's the traitor. There is no such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never ever believe that. 
Like Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance he's planning to kill, right? right. Then we gotta tie him up again! Forcing him to stop is the only way! Oh. It's impossible. Mechamaru's not even here anymore. Heh. <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. Too. Then, that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi's right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope... It just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island. Today am I going to finish this chapter? Probably. And return to the hotel. I usually try to do a chapter every stream. Unless... <laughs> there were a few chapters where I split into like three streams. But that was just because I wasn't feeling it. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call them clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking of all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today. Rest my mind for a while. And then, I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. Actually, words are extremely dangerous! Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a backspace! That's why you need to be extremely careful! Same goes for me! There was a time in my past where I went through a lot of trouble because of that! That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Chacha Jr. To be honest, Chacha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he'd just stare at her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal pennies. And that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the pennies he stole for... Dietrich's old undies. Also, this one time, the three of us went to a steakhouse, and the waiter asked, how would you like it cooked? Chacha Jr. proudly said, with fire. Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty, and he knew how to play Chacha Jr. He made Chacha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it, and he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Chacha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living life in the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Chacha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Teacher Ch Sr. He had eaten. Or sir. What? Good thing I immediately tattled to the male employees so he could put down Chacha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now I regret it saying what I said back then. What the hell? Jeez, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. Bing bong. Yeah, okay, bear boy. 
I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant. Yo, Hajime, check it out. I'm already eating. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked up in a place like the Funhouse again. So we gotta eat while I can. Eat well. Well. Big facts. For now. Okay, now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Hey, I'm still eating here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. Huh? It's okay, I'm pretty much done eating. Y you selfish little... You know, right? And of course, the main topic is about our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be. Uh, are you really going to do it? Of course. I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> this means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Wait... Wait, 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 wait. Since Nagito got that file, he probably learned that Makoto was the ultimate lucky student and became the ultimate hope by the end of it, and he's probably trying to do the same thing. That's why he's... Okay, so he learned about Makoto. That's why he's acting so weird. I thought up several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. One of us will be the decoy he lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. Right. So that's the plan. What do you think? Oh, it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? So, so now, uh, I'll present each of you with your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. But Commander sounds like the most fun. Hey, didn't I just say I won't let anyone object? Right. Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyuhiko and Akane. Yep, sure thing. Ugh, got no choice. You know. And the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to lure Nagito, I'll give that role to Chiaki Nanami. No way. Huh? No. Ah. What did you say? I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up, you're just gonna lure him. Well. Besides, there's no way I'd ask Missonia to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If my hero was here, she would have beaten you up. Mm. I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I think you need... I need your help to stop another killing. And didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. All right. You're gonna do it? Alright, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonia and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonia has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on shore's duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Denied. Uh, why? If Hajime had nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Do you need Sonia? No, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not. This is not a request, this is an order. That is an order. In order, I tell you, there is somewhere I must go. Uh. Fine. If Hajime or Miss and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. What does Sonia want with me? <laughs> Good. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. To, to object so forcefully. Where do you need to go, Sonia? Um, I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you say? Y you're gonna be alone with Hajime? Uh, at, at a secret place? Uh, for now. Damn it. We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander gonna be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. 
let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the ho hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, sure thing. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. Where am I meeting Sonia at? Hajime, you were late. Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you're severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. Oh, I see. This is culture shock. Then I guess that can be overlooked. So, where are you planning to go? I, I just have to come along, right? Of course, it is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. The Jabberwock Island Development Plan? Did you find out something about it? Um. How should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized. The Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island. You have a minute. Or what if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Well? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Um. As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island had such a symbol on this door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? However, The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there's no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I'd completely forgotten about it after being locked inside the Funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the Future Foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. I'm going to go to the beach first. Never mind. She's not gonna let me! I can't believe it! Alright, which way, which way? Uh, no! I soiled it! Soiled it! Second island. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However, well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. Oh, 
as a water bottle. I didn't even know I had one. Awesome. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. All right, let's start. Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. Her building looks pretty run down and shabby. This door looks very high tech. Future, huh? Liquid crystal display next to the door. That's probably it. This is probably the key. The door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. We've discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If, we make, if we make a mistake, it is possible that we'll be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That's right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? In my country, use the, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. Uh, anyway, right now we should definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Now that's impossible. The store looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. Alright, all we have to do next is find out what the password is. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You're right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monomi said they didn't know the password. What is up, Francisco? How's it going? If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Sonia and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. It's still in the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. I. Now let's go to the beach. Actually, should I go to beach or supermarket? I'll go to supermarket and buy the definitive stuff first. What stuff does... What stuff does Fuyuhiko like? Because we're going to spend the rest of our free time with Fuyuhiko. Kill someone? Bet. I'll do it right now. I'll vent f real quick first, though. I should kill someone. Let's purchase stuff. Alright. I'm gonna look up a gift guide because I don't want to end up wasting my in-game money. And since we're spending time with Fuyihiko, let's see what Fuyihiko likes. He loves Antique Doll and Stardust. Do I have either of those? Can I buy either of those? Alright, let's just find stuff that he likes. Alright. <clears throat> Paper, 10th act, verse. Marine snow. Gold coated sheath. Mini wave dissipators. Japanese teacup. Bojibo dolls. 
Yeah, it looks like nothing that I can get for certain is anything that he likes. So, time to go for random. Let's go to the beach. Yep, let's give it a shot. Oh man, I'm gonna be doing this for a while. I think that teacup was in his likes. I'm just getting all this stuff for free time events. Although I'll probably only need like three of them. Hey, what is up, Dank? Dragon Eidos. Hey, that's me. Okay, is this not going to go back to full screen? Come on. gotten that teacup so many times. I just want stuff that Fuyuhiko would like, you know? A Red Bull? I'm just gambling all my money away. As you do. All right. I spent 40 coins on a box of tissue. And a lizard. Oh? Okay, let me just spend the rest of my coins. Yeah, four. That was crazy. All right, now let's go spend our free time with Fuyuhiko. Because you know what? I like Mr. Yuck as a guy. Monkey. Yes, yes, monkey. Hello, Mr. Yakuza. Where are you at? In front of the hotel. Yeah, I know there was a monkey there. Uh, I'll go back to monkey just for you, Francisco. Yeah, all the people with the X's are dead people. Hey, look at all those dead guys. I didn't mean to reopen that. Yeah, we're we're late in the game. A lot of people have died. Chapter 5 is the second to last chapter. 
and at least two people die every chapter. Monkey, let's go! Let's go, it's a monkey! It'd be easy to know who the imposter is if you're good. Well, I mean, it's not a matter... It's a di different people every chapter are the killers. It's not like Among Us where there's only two imposters through the whole group. In this one, like, half of the crew are imposters. Like, it literally is half the crew, because every chapter, one of them kills someone else. <clears throat> There's only one chapter where it's been one person killing two people. And among us, you always die. If you're not dead, it means you're the imposter. Yep, that, that's how my games always go. All right, gamer girl, I've already maxed you out. Where's Fuyuhiko? What do you mean he's in front of the hotel? He was not in front of the hotel. Oh, he's over there. Jeez. A capture plan, huh? Will they really be able to capture Nagato with such a stupid plan? What should I do? Should I invite Fuyuhiko to hang out? Damn right. Huh? I mean, I don't mind, but do you actually enjoy hanging out with me? I spent time talking to Fuyuhiko about the plan to capture Nagito. Only 66 more points? Nice. Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Fuyuhiko a present? Sure. Alright, let's see. What What is Fuyuhiko like? What is Fuyuhiko like? Um... He really likes antique, um, antique doll and stardust, but I don't think I have those. He likes non-alcoholic wine. I don't like this. So you're trying to suck up to me? You really think I take bribes? Well, it, it's fine if I accept this from you. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, what's the first thing you want to do when you get out of here? Sounds like we're talking about prison. Mm, let's see. First... I want to find a safe place to relax and get some decent sleep. Huh. That sounds great to me. Jeez. Compared to this place, I'd rather stay in a prison. That's an odd comparison. At least this place has soft beds, a beautiful ocean, and entertainment. Heh, <laughs> you're right. What about you? What are you going to do? I... Me? First, I'm going to visit my sister's grave. I also need to hold a funeral for Peko, even though there's nothing left of her. And for Mahiru, as well. I see. You're right. Hey, Ajime. I think you're pretty awesome, you know? When it comes to me and the others, at least we know where our confidence is coming from. My hero, Pog, true, true. But you? That part of you is missing. But despite that, you don't let it get to you. You've kept a cool head throughout all this so far. You're giving me way too much credit. I'm just trying to endure everything the best I can. That's what I'm talking about. It's amazing enough that you're even able to endure all this. Someone like you. I blindly rushed into revenge. Without thinking things through and with no concern for anything else. And in the end, I can't take back the consequences of that decision. Hey. But... After seeing you and the others keep it together, I feel like I'm starting to see what I need to be focusing on right now. We'll definitely survive and escape from here, and I'll do anything to make that happen. If not, Peku, Mairu, everyone's death will go to waste. You guys are now lovers. <laughs> I don't know, man. I already got Chiaki's undergarments. And that's when I realized... This was the same Fuhiko Kazurio I met when we first arrived at this island. This is a man who has overcome great hardships. What can I do from now on? I still don't know, but I do know what I can say right now. Yeah, this is the second game. Fuhiko, let's definitely escape this island, okay? But yeah, this is the second one.
The first one had completely different characters. This one has all brand new characters, except for one that was from the first game. Play the third? Yeah, I probably will. I need to buy the third, though. The first and second games came packaged together. And then I think the third... And I think the first and second games combined are cheaper than the third game. I think the... There is no fourth. There's no fourth game, but there is a spinoff. And when we do, would it be alright if we visited their graves together? Huh? huh? Yeah, I'm sure that'd make them happy. Hey, bastard. Fifth, then. <laughs> Skip the fourth, just play the fifth, you know? And Hajime. That part of you may be missing, but I think there's still something there. Because I was able to talk to you like this, and I was able to reflect on my past, and from there I'm able to move forward. Huh. That's it. Maybe your talent is that you're the ultimate counselor. What the heck? I don't want a talent like that. That sounds like it'd be stressful. Isn't the character from the last one that... Yeah, the character that survived and ended up being in this game is now dead. Byakuya perished. In the first chapter, too. It was like, yeah, this guy survived till the end of the first game. He's gonna be the first death in this game. Just because he survived the entirety of last game. He wasn't the only one who survived um, last game, though. There were six of them that survived. Just now, only five of those six are known to be alive. <laughs> I think it's totally perfect for you. Our somber conversation took an unexpected, lighthearted turn, and we laughed harder than we had in a while. How much do I have for free Geekos? Oh, I only need to hang out with him one more time. Well, I didn't know you could buy skills. Only one more, and then you guys have kids. I've been playing through this whole game, and I didn't know I could buy skills. I've really just been playing this on hard mode. Anime doesn't interest you anymore. Guess you don't watch that stupid shit anymore. Time to watch Riverdale and Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Watch real content. Like Riverdale and Grey's Anatomy. Watch T-Series. If I were to watch T-Series in this chair, would that be blasphemy? Found the round before Hope Rises. I, I think they actually said that they were going to end it at 3. Because um, cause that, that's just where they felt like they felt it was a good ending to the series. I haven't played 3, so I don't know. But they said they were going to... Yeah, real shows, not that cartoon. I'll give my pet a baguette. I'll give it sunflower seeds. I 
Let's just get its hope meter all the way. I don't know if that even does anything, but might as well, right? I feel like Gundam would have liked that present. Alright, um... Whoa, whoa, what's a kiss note? No, wait, where'd it go? A notebook considered to be a good luck charm. The human whose name is written in this notebook shall kiss you. Is that another Death Note reference? Is this, is this the second Death Note reference of this chapter? The human who uses this notebook will lose their heart forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Death Note reference. I'll give this to my pet. So we've had a JoJo reference and two Death Note references this chapter. That's crazy. All right, so he's in his home. Time for me to barge in. Be like, yo, Fuyihiko! Ding dong. Ding dong. Yeah, come in. So we're capturing Nagito tonight, huh? I should try to calm down and preserve my energy. What should I do? Should I invite Fuyiko to hang out? Yeah. Sure, I don't mind. It's not bad. No, actually, it's pretty fun. I talked to Fuyiko about random things over drinks. Looks like Fuyiko and I grew a little closer. He likes Hope's Peak Academy ring, right? Let me look. Um, yeah, he likes Hope's Peak Ring. I don't really want to owe you any favors. Well, you probably won't pose a threat later, so I'll just gratefully accept it. Hey, Ajime, there's something I need to talk to you about. Come here. He seems more serious than usual. What's going on? I followed Fuyuhiko until we arrived at his cottage. Hey, Dare, thanks for the host. My boy. How's it going? Hello, hello. I followed Fuhiko till we arrived at his cottage. Damn right. You doing well, man? Yo, wait here. I got something from the supermarket. Oh, here it is. You just figure out how to do that hype. Hi, carbs. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Nick is everywhere. He slammed a 60-ounce bottle in a, of, in a glass right in front of me. Is this alcohol? Nah, it's just water. Huh? Listen up. Underage drinking's not allowed under any circumstances. Let me tell you, the smell's enough to make me pass out. I advise you not to go within 300 feet of the stuff. D don't be absurd. Carbs <laughs> is stalking. Dang. Can't believe it. Just being a good mod? True, you're a good mod. Regardless, it just wouldn't feel right with only a plastic bottle. Come on, take it. I'll take the glass, but I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, This is probably... Is this... <laughs> Exchanging vows? Must be, must be. Brotherhood Cup. Modding for glides and drag at the same time? Let's go. That is dedication. 
Could you be talking about a Brotherhood Cup? Got a bit of a migraine, though, so he won't be in chat much. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know if water helps with migraines, but, I mean, drinking water can't hurt, right? Make sure to drink some water. And, um... Don't look at any too bright lights or anything. Huh? Oh, what? You don't want to? No, no, it's nothing like that. I just honestly never thought anything like this would ever happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Don't think about it too much. This isn't about making us real brothers or anything. Hey. This is a promise to return alive. Together. I'll never die. I, I mean, I've already died once. And Peko already saved that life, after all. But you look like the type who dies easily, you know. So I thought it'd be good if we made a promise like this. Hey, don't say something so ominous. Shut up. That's why I'm saying I'll give you half of my life. You. I mean, you. Well, You're yeah. my very first friend. Even now, I'm still worried about whether I deserve to lead the clan. What's up, brain fart alert? But I feel like... That might change if I get out of here alive. So, Hajime, you better not die either. Fuyihiko, you... If you're unsure, remember, live on. Search for Sisu, and keep looking for her. And then, you should... You should be able to find her. To find what? Yeah, you're right. I'll definitely try to find it, too. I accepted the cup and swallowed the water with one gulp. Fuyihiko did the same and suddenly smashed the cup afterward. Some say shattering the cup's a bad omen, but I prefer it this way. I mean, if you break something, that means it can't be broken ever again. If I read this next message, you'll follow? Alright. Well, that all depends on what that is. Oh, that's right. Do you want to be my underling when we get out of here? You mean, like, a little brother? That doesn't really feel right. Fine. Then you can just be my bro. Well, anyway, we gotta give it our all and think of a way to get out of here. If you can make a girl laugh and giggle, you can make their, che their cheeks clap and jiggle. Alright, man. Okay, dude. Your 4K off of mixed drinks. Thanks for the follow, Brain Fart Alert. You're hyped? Nice, nice. Wonder what I'm gonna have to drink. We each took a piece of the broken cup and put it in our pocket. I can feel a strong bond with Fuyihiko. <laughs> yep, I did read it. As long as I have this bond, I'll never give up. That's what I believe. Imagine not being able to make four mixed drinks. Imagine not being able to make infinite. Fuyihiko's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. <laughs> You're a pleb? Dang. Unlock the skill Silver Spoon. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. And I've obtained his undergarments. Why is this the sign that um that you finished their thing? All right, I return to my room. Looks like it's starting to get dark. The doorbell? Is someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sonia or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it. I mean, so much has happened since we arrived at this island. Yeah, I got his underwear. That's what happens whenever you finish, um, finish their, um, hope fragments. You get the character's underwear. I already have Chiaki's underwear, I got Gundam's underwear, and I have Fuyihiko's underwear. By the way, there will be big spoilers if you haven't already gotten to Chapter 5. Because I'm in, the, I'm in Chapter 5 right now. While mumbling myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. N Nagito? Why? Why is he here? Um. You. What are you doing here? I mean, 
isn't everybody else supposed to be like kidnapping him right now and you know tying him up because he's kind of risky to you know leave free because he's a little scary right now he's been acting strange you sure ask weird questions That's not it. i mean you guys all have business with me right huh Chiaki well... invited me to the lobby she had, she had something she wanted me to talk me to talk to me about everyone put her up to that right He's already found out about our plan? <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? But it's good timing. I have some business with you guys, too. You do? If everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. And I want you to come to the lobby, too. Even though you're not directly involved in the plan. How does he know I'm not directly involved in the plan? Do you even know that? I see. Just as I thought. You were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who wasn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Okay, dick. I see how it is. Now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. You shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh well, anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are going to do with me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together. So let's go already. Fine. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. All right, in we go. If Chiaki has summoned Nagito, then the plan has already started. Fuyihiko and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Hajime? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible actor. Is Carbs here? Probably. Yeah, I think she is. <laughs> You're a terrible actor. Oh well, if you're gonna slow down like that, I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagato walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. All right, I got him. If so, how do I? Uh, if so, how do I delete messages as mod because I can't figure it out? Honestly, I have no idea how to just delete messages. Usually, I have to time them out and then untime them out. But I'm also just looking at it through Streamlabs. I'm not looking through Mod View or anything. He clicked the three dots. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not something I can do through Streamlabs. I'd have to open up my mod view or something. All right, I got him. Um, what are you doing? Oh, this is a voice acting. Charge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> tie me up? It's no use struggling. But I'm not struggling. Huh? What? What the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? <laughs> Companion now, Pog. You gotta look at the big picture, you know. Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin. The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island. What is Nagito talking about? 
And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. What the hell? Did something explode? The air shook. An explosion of darkness overtook me, and I was unable to see anything. I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. W what's going on? Are the words that left my mouth, but they vanished before they could ever reach my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. <laughs> Nagito? It's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely do fit the beginning of the end! It's over. This is the end. The killings are done for good. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now! And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island! All right, Nagato, calm down. What do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. A, a actual bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. Wait. What the hell are you saying? If you do that, of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito, please stop. Uh, are you crazy or something? No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... My, my! This guy! I'm totally shocked! Seriously, I'm totally shocked! That's all I can say about this turn of events. <laughs> the bombs I said are timed. They're set to go off in two days at noon. But that would be him killing more than two people, and that would be against Monokuma's rules. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say Monokuma's about to stop him. Oh, uh, do we not? Uh, I, yeah, I don't think we have watch time command right now. Sixty-nine hours and four twenty seconds. Let's go. I've prepared so many powerful bombs that that the one that just exploded. The, the one that just exploded doesn't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island. Which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea. Five whole months, wowza. Five pretty p poggers months. Are you serious? Do you really think I'd go this far as a joke? <laughs> Where, where did you set them up? <laughs> um, I can't tell you. How about it? It'd be easy to leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Huh? Emergency! Whoa, 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 what in the world is going on? True, what Carb said. I don't know. I, I don't think you did, but I have no idea. Why? Well, I, I don't think you've known about the streaming for a while. Did you? Because, like, when you tuned into the stream, you're like, what? Nobody told me you streamed. It's like, you knew me for a while, but I don't think you knew that I streamed for, for all of it. Yeah. I, is everyone all right? Come on, come on! Don't get in the way! Nagito was in the middle of weeding out the traitor! Ha-wa-ba-ba! 
Nagito, what are you planning to do? Do I really have to say it? It's no use. I mean, the traitors shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Why? What does that mean? Do I really have to say it? <laughs> you remember my leg streams. Ah, uh, leg. Leg stream. Oh no, foot was on screen for a second. Crap, this is supposed to be saved for uh for the OnlyFans. My bad. For the non-existent OnlyFans. But yeah, yeah, I remember those Lego streams. Um, I played through Lego Star Wars. Uh, the complete saga. I played through the first Lego Batman, and then I think that's where I stopped. No way. I played a little bit of um. I played a little bit of Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Those were good streams. I like Lego games. I can just sit and turn my brain off and play for a while for those. Do I really have to say it? You don't know when I was playing a Star Wars game? I think that was the first one that I did. The first, uh, the first Lego game. My, my! You guys are totally eyeing each other and letting sparks fly! I'm getting all hot and bothered. When Ekans raided me? True, Rip Ekans, Sag. D don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules, remember? The same Blacken can only kill a maximum of two people? If he blows up the entire island, th that's just gonna kill way more than two people. I see. You sure have a good memory. Like you said, if any student breaks that rule, I have to punish them severely. Right. But that's only when someone breaks the rule, right? You can't punish someone for breaking a rule before they've broken it, right? Ekans is just snake backwards? Yes, yes it is. That's right. Yep. Saying you're gonna break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad. So right now, there's no way I can punish this. What the hell? You're so stupid. Punishment always happens afterward, not before. That's just the rules of society, right? Hey. But even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting. It'll all be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be alright. After he said that, Nagito walked away. He just... walked away. I couldn't even stop him. I felt... afraid of Nagito. The madness emanating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. There's an economy command, but not a... <laughs> I don't even remember who edited it to that. That's funny. Wasn't it Dragstan? Before? I... Never expected him to go this far. <laughs> Nagito is so reliable. I don't have to do anything because he's shaking things up. Cool. <laughs> That's fair. Th that bastard. I'll never forgive him. Is he fucking serious about those bombs? Hey, hey. As long as the traitor comes forward, he'll say where those bombs are, right? It's adcom. You do like, hold on. Like that. And then, boop. Is that his goal? Then uh, I'm begging you guys, it, it doesn't matter who does it, someone just come forward. Hey, I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. 
what Nagito said yesterday. It's yellow, bro, I swear. Could be, could be, Suka. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagito took the entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. This is Nagito's goal. But what is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really going to blow up the entire island? Suka sus. Suka always sus. Of course. My motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was at a bar and shouted, Can I get a Sam? The female bartender happily answered, Sure thing. It makes me so happy when someone else is this happy. Doing a good deed every day is awesome. But inside, that woman probably thought I was a loser for sitting alone at a cheap bar in the middle of the night. Damn it! I can't keep up with this crap! Hey, sweet cheeks, give me another Sam! I don't even remember what the Suka command was. What was it, Suka? Oh, true! Anytime someone uses the Suka command, you could have just edited the command, Suka. Oh, it was Simp? Oh, so it was the same as Economies. Not a Sam Adams. I'm obviously talking about a raw salmon. And here's some good news for you. I have imbued a smell of vanilla into the Monokuma plushies. It's effective aromatherapy, and it'll definitely calm everyone's nerves if they're agitated. Available in the near future. That's it for Monokuma's shopping corner. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. A dull metallic sound is ringing in my ears, and the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight, but I can't afford to spend the whole day resting. I immediately left my cottage. Oh, so is it not free time today? Hey! It's you, right? You're the traitor, aren't you? What the hell are you saying? Come on, just admit it already. If you don't, we're all gonna die. I'm not the traitor. I'm begging you, it doesn't matter who admits it, just save me. Get a hold of yourself, Kazuichi. Complaining won't change anything, okay? Shut up. Shut I know that, but what else can we do? We need to think about that with the others. So, let's hurry over to the restaurant. Drags to do voice acting? I want to. I want to get into voice acting. Which is why playing games like this is super fun for me, because I get to, like, give every character a different voice. And, like, it gets me practice for it. It's real sweet of you to say it. Yo, Hajime. How are you feeling? Not good, but not so bad that I can't move. Huh. Then you're okay. I'm not okay at all. My ears are seriously ringing. My eardrums definitely ruptured. I need to hurry and have a doctor look at it. So, what should we do now? However, what can we do? How troubling. If the traitor would just come forward, this problem would be resolved in no time. Nagito, when did you... Good morning. I came to motivate you guys since you're just laying around. Didn't I tell you yesterday that bombs are set to go off in two days at noon? Well, you've got one day left. Come on, you better hurry. I mean... Hurry? I'm not the one who has to come forward. The traitor does, right? Well, that's probably true. But even if this does depend on the traitor, your attitudes aren't admirable at all. Isn't that right? I mean, real hope is when you confront a hopeless difficulty that's standing before you, right? And despite that, you guys are already ready to give up. What does that mean? 
Or is this your limit? If so, it makes me laugh to think I ever called you symbols of hope. You bastard. You better knock it off. Keep your shirt on. I took the time to come bring you guys a valuable hint. Wouldn't it be bad if I changed my mind? Huh? Did he just say hint? Alright, what's the hint, wise guy? Nagito, where's your hint? Oh, you finally have hope? That makes me happy. Hear me, you'll be back soon. You have dumb school. Alright, good luck on your school. You better do good. Oh, you finally have hope? That makes me happy. Hey! Uh, who freaking cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the hint is. You're going to do a quick Minecraft screen stream. Got to get those four more followers for affiliate. You get those followers. You hit that affiliate, my man. Well, well it's about the bomb's hiding place. I hit it somewhere you guys haven't been before. Huh? Somewhere we have not been before. I don't need any hints. I'll pick you up. Just tell us the answer. If you don't, I'll make you spit it out. Hey, 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 Stop hey. it! What are we going to do if he sets off another bomb? Yep. Good judgment. Hey. If you guys have time to pick a fight with me, then you should start searching for the bombs already. Then I'll crush you to pieces later. Whoa. How scary. Hey. Why did you give us a hint? See? Well, if the trader sees their friends working hard... They may feel inclined to come forward, you know. Who cares? The traitor might not even exist. All we need to do is find the damn bombs. Let's go. Take care. Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here, so if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. What? Mr. or Miss Traitor. We left the restaurant as Nagito's muffled laughter trailed behind us. Kazuichi, why did you stop me? Huh? huh? What are you talking about? If you hadn't stopped me, I could have crushed Nagito to pieces. Bastard. You're too fired up, dumbass. Calm the fuck down, at least. Everyone. More importantly, let, let us all head over to the ancient ruin. Hmm. Huh? The ruin? Please Nagito said the bombs are hidden somewhere we have never been before. If that is the case, the inside of that ruin is the only place I can think of. No, there was one other place, too. What was it again? That castle at the amusement park? What's its name? Huh? Are you talking about uh, Natsume Castle? Hey, hey, hey. You don't get it at all. He freaking means Natsume Castle. Then we have those two places to choose from. But we won't be able to enter the ancient ruin without a password. What should we do? Like... A password, huh? I'm guessing we still don't have any clues to that. That probably goes for Nagito, too. He wouldn't be able to enter without the password either, right? If that's the case, it's hard to think that the bombs were set inside the ancient ruin, right? So we should try getting to Nezumi Castle first. Are we screwed? But isn't that dangerous? I mean, what if that was Nagito's trap all along? Jeez. Manokuma's trap, Manomi's trap, and now Nagito's trap. Dumbass. If we keep worrying about shit like this, we won't get anything done, dumbass! You're totally fired up, too. Yeah. Hey. Anyway, we should try going there at least. We don't have time to stand around doing nothing. All right. Full speed ahead! Alright, we'll tackle Nezumi Castle first. Alright, let's see what's in this castle. Hey, hey. Oh, that's weird. It was sounding staticky for me for a second. And I just like messed around with the cord a little bit, and now it doesn't. So that's good. 
Uh, hey, check it out! The entrance is destroyed. It's been blown to bits, as if someone set a bomb. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it is here. If that's true, looks like this place was spot on. Then the bombs are inside here. Damn right. That's what it looks like. Then let's try going inside. But we need to be careful. We need to pay as much attention as we can. You're right. Then let's go. After forcing a dry swallow, I nervously stepped through the door. In there. What is this place? I thought the inside would look more light-hearted than this. Um. The ambiance seems similar to that of a temple or a church. However, is it just me, or does it seem like there are no bombs to be found here? Well. No, it's not. Just you. Hmm. If the bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island, they should be pretty big. But I don't see anything. I don't see a place where they could be hidden, either. Huh? The, the bombs aren't here? The bombs aren't here? But even so, I feel like there's something suspicious here. But why? It feels like this place is different somehow. This feeling. It's the same feeling I felt when I first saw that ancient ruin. There's a huge Nordic-looking spear on the wall. It looks a bit flashy, but... I have a strong feeling that this spear isn't just for decoration. Anyway, it's really strange looking. There's some kind of cord attached to the end of the handle. Which means? This weapon is designed to capture an opponent using the cord as a whip just before you deliver the final blow. So, it's like a chain sickle? However... You must be careful. Using a whip as a weapon is quite difficult. You might capture yourself instead of your intended target. That is right! And you might also cause an unexpected fan service moment. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beautiful fighters who fight them, who get themselves into immodest situations are in universal demand. Like I said, what are you talking about? Um. Hmm? What is this? The font doesn't match the ambiance of the castle at all. It's almost like it was intentionally put here. Everyone, come check this out! Huh? What's that? To all subjects. Subjects? Who are they talking about? Is it... about us? There's more written below that. What does it mean? The password to guide everyone to the future is... What the heck is this? We can't even read the most important part! What does... The password to guide everyone to the future, even mean. Uh, maybe it's... that password. Could it be? The password to access the ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future. Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that is written on the door. Uh, as expected of Miss Sonia! She only had to read it once to understand what it means. Like... But if we can't read the password, there's nothing we can do. Is... It is a rather tragic moment. I wonder who erased this. Huh? Erased? I mean, it doesn't feel like it was erased naturally, right? Looks like it was forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. Even so. But Manomi and Monokuma shouldn't have entered this castle because they don't like mice, right? I won't forgive you. And it was Nagito. He's the one who erased the password. Probably so we couldn't get to the bombs. Nogito probably discovered the password here and used it to enter the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin? So he erased the password so we wouldn't be able to get near the bombs. That actually makes a lot of sense. If that's true, he gave us a hint even though he knew we wouldn't be able to use it. Just so we could shove that reality in our faces? There's no way we can enter that ancient ruin if we don't know the password. In the end, we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward. Did he lure us into this place so we'd be forced to confront that? 
forcing us to confront the despair before us. Forcing us to confront how powerless we are. Damn it! That's what Monokuma would do! H hey, um... Whoever you are, you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't, you'll just end up dying too, you know? Hey, who are you saying that to? I don't know, I'm just saying it to everyone! Let's stop. Finding among ourselves won't help anything. More importantly, let's work harder to find the password of that ancient ruin. Or clues that might relate to it. As long as we cooperate and explore all over the island, we might be able to find it, you know? Damn it. Are you telling us to look everywhere for a password that might not exist? Hey. Who would leave a password here in the first place? And why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Monami, then who was it? We can't even answer that, so there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Then what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? That is no different than when we were in the funhouse. And what did we learn there? We learned not to give up on living, right? That Gundam was the only one who said that. Very well then. I shall look for it on my own. Excuse me. S Sonia, hold on! But Sonia ignored me as I called for her and stormed out of the area. Her shoulders were shaking a little. I'm sure of it. She really liked Gundam. I mean... What the heck? Shut up! Shut up! Damn it! Fine then! You want to look for it? Well, fine! Uh, hey! Kazuichi left Nozumi Castle and walked in the opposite direction of Sonya. What the hell are they doing? Now's not the time for infighting! Like... Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Huh? Why? I mean, it's easier to move around that way, you know? In case someone wanted to go secretly to meet someone? Hey, does that mean... Sorry. Just act like I was thinking out loud and pretend you weren't listening. Damn it. Not again. Man, we're scattered as usual. If you think so, then please help. Yeah, leave it to me. I've got a secret plan. I, won't I just have to find the source of the problem and snap it off. Uh, Kane, what's... what's your secret plan? I have a bad feeling about the way Akane's acting. I'll run after her. It's best if we keep Akane away from Nagito for now. Far away. You're right. I guess I'll leave it to you. Yep. Okay, see you later. Chiaki ran after Akane. And from there, I was the only one left. What does this really mean? Who are the subjects that are being referred to? What's the password to guide everyone to the future? I was the last to leave Nizumi Castle. And I wandered all over the island, searching for clues to the password. But I didn't expect to find anything. And in the end, that's exactly what happened. And so time passed by with its usual speed. Is that so? It is now 10 p.m. Oh, it's nighttime? Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find what we were looking for. After a while, I'd forgotten what I was supposed to be looking for in the first place. In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but... I also didn't see them while I was exploring, either. That's because, even though this island is so vast, our numbers have drastically decreased since we've arrived. I can't think of any other reason than that. I should go back. Nikito said time runs out at noon tomorrow. 
Another day's about to end, which means there's only half a day left. I can't imagine the traitor will be revealed by then, since we don't even know if they really exist. And even if they do, it's possible they've forgotten and that they're the traitor. All this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but... My brain and body were yearning for rest. Probably because of all the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began to surface from the back of my mind, one after the other. But before I could focus on the specifics of those images, I slowly sank into the depths of darkness. I think giving up is really important. If you don't give up on your dreams, they'll come true. That's just irresponsible and lazy encouragement. No matter how much you try without giving up, it's useless in the end. Persistence is just the worst. That's why giving up is so important. But you can't give up if you don't even try. scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sounds of waves crashing on the beach. But the bombs Nagito said are all going to destroy this. Once time runs out at noon. At the moment, there's nothing about our situation that's changing for the better. Usually I'd go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagito said. Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here, so if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. Mr. or Miss Trader. Sounds like he was planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute, he's going to be there all day? Then if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do... The bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. What are you talking about, Hajime? The moment I set foot inside the restaurant, the worst-case scenario was unfolding before me. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, no, somebody's not dead yet. To spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there, or shoot my eyes out with that spoon. If you're not willing to kill me with despair, there's no way my hope will ever grow. grow. Akai's hand suddenly wrapped around Nagato's neck, and his face began turning a startling shade of red. Her clenched hands kept squeezing, even tighter. As if she was trying to snap his neck instead of just strangling him. Hey, hey. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, Akane! Hey, are you alright? Isn't he seriously gonna die? She was too overcome by rage to acknowledge us. Huh? the kind of person who would hurt anyone, right? See, it's all right. Yep, no problem. Sorry, I'm awake now. What was I doing anyway? Hey, hey. That's what I was gonna want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. 
And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thanks. Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Huh? Serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Hmm, wow. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. If you sincerely mean that, please tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password to the ancient ruin? What are you going to do with that? Don't play dumb. You've hidden the bombs inside that building, right? You're right. Yep, I did. <laughs> Until yesterday. Huh? Hey, Nagato, what do you mean by until yesterday? I'm hungry. I'm going to grab a snack and I'll be right back. Hey, Nagito, what do you mean by until yesterday? Well, there wasn't anything important inside the ancient ruin, just some familiar scenery. Familiar scenery? Jeez. I got bored of it. Also, if I hid them in there, it would have been completely meaningless. 
So even if you had managed to learn the password of the ancient ruin, it has no meaning anymore. Now that I've moved the bombs somewhere else. But they were inside that ancient ruin, right? I'm glad. Anyway, I guess it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found before the traitor confessed. Well, well it's not like that really matters. In fact, that might be better. Amazing. To make hope shine even brighter. Bastards. Stop talking crazy and tell us where you moved the bombs already. <laughs> Looks like you're in a hurry. Well, that's understandable. After all, time runs out today. Hey. So let's begin the final battle. The final battle between the traitor and everyone else. <laughs> the final battle between hope and despair. The place I hid the bombs this time is... A place you've all visited at least once. Hey, hey, hey. That's it? That's too broad! See? It shouldn't be that hard if you guys were split up. For now, why don't you guys search everywhere as fast as you can? As long as everyone cooperates, it should be easy to find out where the bombs are. What the heck? This is exciting. It's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope can break through any despair. You can never lose in a place like this. I... And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's going to be fine. As long as you believe in hope with all your hearts, the path should open. With that, Nagato walked away. And left us with a sinister mixed message. Why does he still have to be alive? Dumbass. Now's not the time to complain about stuff like that. Oh. Besides, we don't have time to fight among ourselves. You are right. We must hurry and search for the bombs. We should still have time to stop them. I mean... But based on the places we searched, I don't know where we should look. The only thing we can do is split up and cover as much ground as we can. There are exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of searching an island. Damn it. Then leave this island to me. I already have the layout of this island in my head. Leave it to me. Hmm. If Akane has the first island, then I'll do the second one. <laughs> Miss Sonya should get the smallest island. Are you okay with searching the central island? One second. I'm just gonna take a bite of my food. Some good food. Huh? But, but... Anyway. You're probably not good at covering ground anyway, right? It's fine. You can search the central island. Chiaki, uh, Chiaki, you search the third island with the hospital. Hajime, you search the amusement park island. And I'll handle the final island. Alright, then let's do it. Mm. Let's hurry up and find those bombs so we can take her on Nagito once and for all. We stormed out of the restaurant and immediately left to search for the bombs. We didn't have time to even think about who the traitor is. But it's ironic. Nagito is the reason we're all splitting up. But the reason we're all cooperating is because of Nagato too. It's pretty damn ironic. I'm in charge of searching the fourth island. I should search every nook and cranny. According to Nagito, the bombs have enough power to easily wipe out this entire island. It's probably not very small. I, I'll definitely find it.
Is it inside? The door's open? Looks like I can go, I can go inside, but it's possible that the bombs were hidden in here. All right, let's go. How should I describe this place? It's so cloyingly cute that I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Why, why is hunting me in my house? The door was wide open. Hello, Baba. As soon as she heard that, Manami waddled to the door and... Uh, it's broken! My security system is broken! The robber probably did it. A oh, robber's no excuse. A female teacher with a young boy student in her house. It's just inappropriate. I am splattered with disgrace. Jeez, she's noisy. Stinky disgrace. So anyway, uh, you said something about a robber? Are you talking about Monokuma? Monokuma wouldn't do something as cheap as breaking the lock. Ever since he took my power, he can do anything he wants in this island as long as he wills it. Your power? Will? You're always so melodramatic. But if it wasn't Monokuma, does that mean the other robber is one of us? I'm not doubting my students or anything, but my important thing was definitely stolen. What's your important thing anyway? My treasure box! I don't think any of us would steal Monomi's treasure box. But if someone did, why would they steal it in the first place? Um, can you let me know if you find my treasure? <laughs> it's a magnificent treasure box carved in sparkling pink lights. Well, if I come across it... <laughs> what the heck is this? Monomi plushies on hangers? Yeah, don't go touching my things without permission. They're important. You own plushies? I mean, your own plushies? You must love yourself, just like Monokuma. Wrong. You're wrong. Please don't compare me to that thing. <laughs> you don't have enough delicacy. Entering a woman's house without her permission and touching her things makes your teacher very sad. This will not be allowed. Hajime needs a class in morality. Delicacy and morality. I don't think those things have anything to do with each other. I shall give you a special private lesson after school. Miss Minomi will slowly and thoroughly give you a good teaching. Oh, well, 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 that sounds really inappropriate. Oh, once again, I've been splattered with disgrace. Such a sticky and gooey disgrace. You're the one who started saying it. Are these monitors? They're not displaying anything right now, but why are there so many? She must be a gamer. Are you monitoring us with these? <laughs> so I was right. The surveillance cameras are all over the island, and the footage those cameras are recording. You were watching that footage on these monitors. You were monitoring us, weren't, weren't you? You were camping cams. I was, until Monokuma appeared. I no longer have my magic stick, and because of that, Monokuma stole all my powers. So I don't have the authority to monitor everyone anymore. These monitors are useless. Huh? What does that stick have to do with the surveillance cameras? Anyway, I can't monitor everyone anymore. I had no other way of following your movements unless I rely on these somewhat nifty ears. I don't really understand, but does that mean Monokuma has been watching us from the surveillance cameras? No, it's probably not him either. His current state, he shouldn't need, even need to use those cameras. His powers keep increasing beyond expectations. He surpassed any standard of measuring it. Hey, stop talking about stuff that doesn't make sense. Who's watching the surveillance cameras? Got it? They probably only matter to the outside. Outside? Do you mean the group that's controlling you and Monokuma? I see. So the people outside the island are watching the footage captured by the surveillance cameras and... <laughs> well, let's just brush that whole thing aside. There's no way I can do that! Um, but I can't say. Hey. Is she trying to cover it up by crying? That's exactly what Monokuma does. Just as I thought, I can't trust her at all. Alrighty, that's enough of your questions. Now it's my turn to question you. Me? Hey. Why'd you suddenly come to the amusement park? It's strange you're walking around alone. Did something happen? Something did happen. Huh? That's right, I don't have time to waste at a place like this. I need to ask you an important question. Do you know where they are? Somewhere on Jabberhawk Island, Nagito. Hey, hey. Why, hello there, Monomi! Wanna play with your big brother? Monokuma! Huh? 
What's with your sudden invitation? We've never played before. <laughs> come on, everyone's busy. You shouldn't interfere. So hurry up and come play with me. Ah, oh, my ears. Please don't pull my ears. I'll leave the rest to you. I'll let you students handle the rest. Do your best. He always interferes whenever we're discussing something important. I guess he really is monitoring us. No. Now's not the time to complain. I should get back to searching for the bombs. I shouldn't waste any more time. I left out of the Monomi house and returned to searching for the bombs. Damn it. I don't see the friggin' bombs anywhere. Nothing good will come from rushing. I should try looking somewhere else. I'm gonna take another bite. Getting some food. Alright, there we go, I finished that. I don't think it's gonna be in here, but I gotta search everywhere. The bombs shouldn't be small. If I find them, it should be really obvious. Damn it, looks like there's nothing in here. It's no use. There's nothing suspicious here, either. I found them! You found them? Yeah, a shit ton of bombs were piled on top of each other. God damn. I didn't expect to find actual bombs. Where'd you find them? Near that stupid factory where the life-size Monokuma plushies are made. Monka bomb, shrew royas. Welcome to the stream. Pug you bazoongas? The plushy factory. Got it. I'll go tell Kazuichi and Akane. Can you tell Sonya and Chiaki? Y yeah, got it. We'll meet in front of the bombs later. So, royas to catch you up, basically Nagito placed bombs around the place and he was like, I'm gonna blow up the island if the traitor doesn't reveal themselves. And traitor hasn't revealed themselves. Sag, E-Girl Dragados is a mindset, not a person. Sag. But, what's gonna happen after that? Will we be able to stop them? No, there's no point thinking about that right now. I need to tell Sonya and Shiaki about the bombs first. Sonya should be at Central Island, and Shiaki should be at the Third Island. Oh, I can't fast travel. Sonya should be here on this central island. But the only place on the island where bombs could probably be is hidden is Jabberwock Park. If that's the case, maybe Sonya's searching there. Hi, Monokuma Rock. Or 
Everest Island. Second island. Did I really run around the whole place? Went through 5,000 total number of steps. Yeah. How's my pet doing? Wrong button. Cleaned its dookie. Huh? That's weird. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonia! I'm right here. Too bad. Just kidding. It's only me. Jeez, that was a really good impression of her, Monokuma. Yes, indeed. Hajime used call Sonia, but nothing happened. Because she's already gone to a faraway place. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. If you're looking for Sonia, she was walking around near the military base. Military base? The one on the final island? Did she already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to the final island? But even so, there's no reason for her to be at the military base. Because the bombs were found at the plushie factory. I don't really understand, but I'll head over there after I talk to Chiaki. Maybe she went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bombs. Chiaki should be at the third island. Uh, Alright, let's go. It's weird. It's a tad bit strange, I might say. Hmm? Near the music venue. Is that? It is. It's Chiaki. I don't remember which way the music venue is. Chucky, I've been looking for you. What happened? Uh, don't respond so slowly. It's the bombs. We found the bombs. Hurry over to the plushie factory. Hey, are you listening? There's no time to space out. Ah, yep. uh, you're right. The bombs are bad, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. At least be a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. Alright, I should hurry over to the final island and meet up with Sony at the military base. Those two are acting kind of strange. Huh. Can you eat some crackers? Some pepper jack crackers. Oh boy. It's in a cocoon. Before I go to the plushie factory, I need to meet up with Sony at the military base first. Uh, Sonia, there she is. What? is she doing in a place like this? Looks like Sonya's digging around the back of that truck. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, Hajime, please do not startle me. I, Whew, I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode? Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? Um, I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now, we found them. Um, what did you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should be over there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. You are right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Huh? I am sorry. 
It's going to be fine. I'll catch up with you soon. Got it. Then I'll start heading over. I don't know what Sonia wants to do, but there's no time to argue about it. I, l I left Sonia for now and decided to go to the plushie factory first. But why is she even at the military base? Uh, I can just ask her later. Anyway, the bombs are the biggest priority. I should hurry over to the plushie factory. Where's Sonia? I told her about the bombs, but she would have wouldn't listen to me. She said, "Oh wait, I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me." She said she'd catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? She should know that now's not the time for that. But oh. can I go bring her? Dumbass. Do you really think there's time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right. We need to stop the bombs first. Uh, all right, let's go. We steeled our nerves and charged him to the factory. And the first thing I noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded onto the bed of the truck. It's those things on top of the bed. Is that it? I don't know how powerful they are if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but... If there's that many, they must be extremely powerful. Did he really drive this truck and carry over all these bombs? Kazuichi, uh, can't you disarm the bombs? You're good at this kind of stuff, right? Hmm. I thought I could, but... It looks like the engine's also acting as the detonator. Damn it. So that's why the engine's still running. These bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off and the trigger of the explosion. You? I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator was put inside the bulky metal and wel box and welded shut. Uh. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. This is going to take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost... Yeah, noon. What if we use the tools at the military base? Hey, hey, hey. We don't have time for that! The truck's engine is the detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. The fuel cap's been welded on, too. I'm gonna do it. Then I'll just drive the truck into the sea! Bastard. You can't! You didn't even have a driver's license! Huh? Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. But even that's impossible. There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the ball, stall for time, or move the truck, then there's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. hey check it out. Huh? Hmm? There's some kind of machine on top of the metal box that Kazuichi mentioned. Huh? Huh? The machine on top of the box? Hmm. Oh, this? This looks like a card reader. A card reader? Maybe we can disarm the bomb if we swipe the key card. Are you serious? What? Hmm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagato won't be able to disarm the bombs if he didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Nagato's probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? Well... Knowing Nagato, there's definitely some kind of theme to this. I think. A theme? That bastard probably would do something messed up like that. Right. Then we gotta find that. Nagito is trying to make us do something here. If that's true, what's he trying to make us do this time? All the machines are stopped. More importantly, what's that thing over there? Was that there when I first came here? As I recall, this is the break room, but now's not the time to look around here. More importantly, what's that thing over there? A 
team. The bastard probably would do something messed up like that. There's a laptop. There's a laptop on top of the stopped conveyor belt. This wasn't here the last time I came here, right? How suspicious. It looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately, a video started playing. Hello there. Why, hello everyone. Great work. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. Nagito! It looks like a video message from Nagito. It looks like a video message from Nagito. A video message? If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Just hold on. For now, let's just watch this through to the end. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it'll disarm the bombs. Leave it to me. All right, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However, well, it won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor is after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little no annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, Peter. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. The traitor's... Student handbook? Don't tell me. So that's it. This is also a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, hey. Is there seriously a traitor? If there is, they should have come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Yeah. Stop whining and complaining. We should do this one at a time. Mm. Don't be stupid. What if someone besides the traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bomb without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitation, swiped the card reader. Mm. Looks like it was wrong. Mm. Who's next? Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey. That's just a fluke. Don't act so carelessly in a situation like this. Anyway. Well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. This is basically medbay scan. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. So what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. But only once, you know? Hey, what happened? Nothing, I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over to the truck. And then he tilted his head toward the engine and he suddenly shouted, It's out of gas! Huh? What's gonna happen if there's no gas? I already told you, it's gonna blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Did Nagito miscalculate? Miscalculate? Uh, if you're gonna set us up, at least use your calculations right, damn it! At least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Uh, hey, can we do something about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah, yeah there's only one thing we can do. Huh? What is it? What do we have to do? Damn it. Pray. Are you kidding me? What? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> then we should run. Those words, we started sprinting away, and that's when it happened. Yeah. All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with a dazzling light. Huh? What the hell is this? Looks like they're fireworks. Fireworks? While we stood there dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly decreased their intensity. And eventually... Oh my. 
Um, this means... It wasn't a bomb?! Huh? What the heck? I mean, Nagito said... Um. So it is just as I thought. As you thought? Hey, hey. hey, everyone, look over there. The laptop? Looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Did you really think there were enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. So it was all a bluff. Then, what was that bomb he detonated at the hotel? Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me. Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an island. Nagito was lying about that. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, how did he time the message so perfectly? Hmm. No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from a detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess... Well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It made me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door, waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door? That's where Nagito is? I won't forgive you. This time, I'll make sure to be the crap out of him. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench! Jeez. You bastards. What are you saying? Bastards. You guys can just beat the shit out of him because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. Mm. You guys, you've totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm. We need to stop them. That is an order. You're right. Let us make haste. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Wait. Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. A Akane? What is it? Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? As I listen carefully, I can make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? What's he planning? Is this another one of Nagito's traps? Maybe the moment we open the door, a real bomb's gonna go kaboom! Alright, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please do not, Akane. It is dangerous. Yeah. It's fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Leave it to me. Seriously, it'll be fine! Those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey. I knew it! It's a trap! Seriously, just stop it, okay? You... Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What, what happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. It's gonna blow up! Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. But, huh? what's this? What happened? Yeah. Look inside. It sure is. Dark. It looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blared through the warehouse at full volume. And as if on cue, it suddenly started. Huh? He's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse, like fiery wings spreading before us. What's 
going on, dude? There should be fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Got it. Let's head to the break room. Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? Yep, a bunch of them. Fire grenades. Basic fire extinguishing goods. We throw them at a fire. They contain our brakes. And okay, yeah, I don't want to hear the logistics, but this is strange. Last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies, too. There should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. Grabbed all the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. Join VC. What's Yo, up? Track. What's up, buddy? What's up? How's it going? Pretty, dude, pretty, pretty well. Fight? Yeah, Suka's playing gunfight and losing because he's garbage. I need a good teammate. <laughs> I need a carry drag, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I'm playing Dung and Romper right now. Damn. Crazy. So how's the uh, how's the gaming going? I'm telling okay. you, it's yellow. It's going pretty well, it's man. 100% yellow. It's 100% yellow. It's yellow. I, uh, Just vote him, vote him off now. Get him out of here. Facts. True, it's gotta be him. <laughs> so me and Suka did a um a sniper 1v1, right? Yeah. He beat me the first time. Like that was yesterday, and I beat him today. He 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 only got 35 kills and was out of 50. He's so bad. Can you agree? Hey, more than half the way. Hey man, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit I'm probably I'd probably be worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were he, doing quick scope and no scope. Yeah, we, so. we were doing we were doing quick scope. Plus throwing knives. Plus throwing throw knives. Throw I did not want to do throwing knives. You you only got a couple of kills yeah. because just because um you were cheating. Not and right. you know what? Just because you were cheating, I threw a grenade at you and it killed you. I don't know how that didn't kill each other. You just put us like, to be broken. fair though, I didn't know where you were on the map, so I just threw it randomly. And just happened to be where you, where you were. That's skill. Can you agree, Drag? True, true. Alright, well I might head back to the Danganronpa. Uh, I might play Gunfight later if you're still you on, if I finish the chapter. Staying, you're not staying in VC. Dang, oh, I, well, I mean, I could stay in VC. You guys just yeah, hear a lot of voice I, acting. That's the whole reason I, I, I asked you to come in. Oh, because you wanted to hear all the voice acting? Yeah, just the uh, live action. Ah, uh, uh, fair enough. That's the only reason I come to the battle around the streets for the voice acting. Ah, uh, true, oh, true. Man. All right. Yeah, let's hear it. Well, you guys get it up close. Oh, of course, the first character I have to read is a girl. But I'll, I'll just use my normal voice I do for them. I'm not making it different. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Take Dude. care not to inhale the smokes as well. One second. We should throw I the grenades from the door at the same time. Bombs. I'm gonna deaf him for a little bit. Alright. We're good. Aight. Looks like the curtain in the back is burning up. I just have to aim for that, right? Alright, let's go. Real. Real. Yeah, I'm, I'm the actual voice actor for every one of these characters. That is, that's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, paid. oh, dude, they paid me hardly any. They saved a lot of money by hiring me to do every voice. Facts. We aimed for the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after another. But... Hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The fire's not going out, I can't believe it. The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades, which fell to the floor and shattered. They're completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling. This, this is bad. 
We've already used up all the fire grenades. All right, I'm gonna eat the crackers that I have while uh, while I'm in a section that's voice acted for me. Sick, sick. That's comedic timing. So this is the power of the Japanese territory, Bozo. That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Had your vote got deleted on green server, can you said the word y'all again? Dang. Deserved. That was deserved, Roy S. It's a war crime. Nah, I say y'all all the time. It's a war crime, though. And? Fruit. Is there a problem with being a war criminal? Nah, I, I committed several war, uh, war crimes in, um, in Michigan. Yo, me too. Monka Dank is with them? It seems so, Royaz, sadly. Which me? Am I the girl? Wait, what? What? <laughs> All I heard was you ask, are you the girl? Yeah, which one, which one am I? What do you mean, which one? I I'm with like... him. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the y'all. Ah. Yeah. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. <laughs> I mean, which character do you think you'd be, Dank? Think you'd be the Yakuza leader? Girl. Oh, you'd be the girl. Oh, she is a gamer. I am a gamer. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. L looks like the fire's out. Th that is a relief. The hell? you dank is a trap. Man, my merch is drenched. It got splattered with water and now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Huh? Uh, time out, time out. You can't. Nah, -uh, no way. Why can't we go inside? Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse, so it's got to ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So... so for the sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. Monokuma caring about our health? I think that's Cap. That's pretty Cap. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater I freshly prepared? Oh, why a Monokuma Theater? Monkey. You're so stupid. Everything is a lie. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. There's no relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. What are you doing here anyway? Yeah, okay. Okay, Monokuma. More like Monokumer, am I right? Facts, facts, dude. Yes! Now that the Monokuma Theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. Why are your eyes on the front? So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. But we get it already. Enough with your bullshit. Oh, well, he already said that line for me. I turned on the light for you guys, too. You might hurt yourself if it's dark. Now, now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Ahead. Is Nagito inside? He said he was in the video message, but he probably escaped by now. There was so much fire and smoke, and I thought I'd finally get to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how it's doing? 
Hajime, what happened? Well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. What, is, is Nagito's body going to be dead or something? And I can't even budge. It feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Oh, he's nervous. Is this foreshadowing to a body being discovered? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I don't think Nagito's going to die, but he could. A charred odor permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. Smell? <clears throat> Something smells. Hey, hey. It's not me! I am, sorry. I am terribly sorry. Are you Miss Sonia? Say it ain't so! Mm. No, not that. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like... Well, it makes sense that there are strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey. hey everyone. Did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? Hmm? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's space on the other side, too. When I looked to where Chiaki was pointing, there was still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. I walked towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I'd never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then, on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. Oh? Nagito's dead? Dude, that's crazy. Dude, that's brutal. Wow. That's... I Are you sure he's dead? had no idea what I was looking at. <laughs> Jesus. By the time I realized I was looking at the remains of Nagito Kamaeda, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. Yeah, he looks real lucky. That's crazy. I mean, honestly... He kind of deserved it. He was acting real stupid. Like, out here trying to figure out who the traitor is with methods that big. Yes. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread through the, from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagato is dead. I actually thought maybe Nagato would live to the end, but nah. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. What's going on here? Uh, you serious? Nah, bro, he's still alive. Yeah, true, must be. Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito is dead. Deep down, I believed. That when the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagato couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that... A body has been discovered. Yo, no way, bro. Cr really? The body discovery announcement. Th then it's for real. Hey, hey. 
that Nagito is really dead? It's not just that he's dead. The body discovery announcement was made. What does that mean? Nagito was killed? Killed? Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito? One of us killed him so brutally? Then it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial's gonna start soon, right? Then... Of yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is! No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Ching. Then the time for action is now! So allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma fi- when? Hold it right there! Yeah. What? Don't get in my way like that! I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way! You Shut up, I can't stand this anymore! How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more, I won't let you. I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions. Hey, hey. Say something. What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are. You're Manomi. Please. You just now noticed? Why? Anyway, Manomi, if you're going to talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know, too, you know. <laughs> what? No fair! You're shutting up, too! Please, please. Enough already. We're, we're already having enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, do not say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Mm -hmm. Huh? B but... I, guess it's just... I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Uh. I, I know. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice. <laughs> Looks like you kids are way more well-behaved than Monomi. Don't fuck with me. We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. Huh, does that mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Actually... Don't worry, the end is near. Huh, the end? Um, wait, that's my voice. Huh, the end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? <laughs> the meaning behind that Monokuma timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? When that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Huh? The killing school trip will be over! Hey, hey. If this will finally be over, Are you serious? does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched! There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So... So once again! You guys need to figure out who Nagato's killer is and survive the class trial! If this ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. See your face. I don't know, there's another chapter after this. H hold on. I won't, forgive you. I won't let you escape this time. Wait right there. Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip's nearly at an end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? Yeah. Kazuichi. I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Then let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. It is nice to think that everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito. Because his death was so abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, 
It was stuck inside me. First, we need to look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Nagato Kamaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Again? But what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. It's definitely weird. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. Don't worry your form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. Hmm. We can discuss it later. Right now is our only chance to investigate. So we should investigate first. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Then, let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can properly investigate Nagato's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagato's body. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. I never expected Nagato to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. What is that? What is what? Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and, ba and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No. Now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about his body that catches my eye. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is impaled deeply into Nagato's stomach. There's no way around it. That looks like a fatal wound. Looks like the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of its handle and there's an iron weight attached to it. Yeah. I see, I see. You use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not! This... this is the Spear of Gugner, right? You definitely just came up with that now. Hey, hey. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? I feel like I saw it at Nezumi Castle. Yeah, those kinds of spears were there. What? what? Nezumi Castle? What the hell? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle. It looks like that part has blood on it, too. But for some reason, that section, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. Well, probably because that's where they held it from. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently the spear came from Nezumi Castle. Might be better if I confirm that later. The knife is stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Did the killer do this? Uh, how could they do something so cruel? 
This knife. It must be from the military base. Military base? Uh, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. By the way, it seems wounds on his legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means, after the killer finished stabbing Nagito's legs and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. It cannot be. And then they finished him off with the spear. How cruel. Then, does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons? A knife and a spear? But, they could have just killed him by stabbing him with the knife. Why did they need to use a spear at all? That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use the spear, huh? His mouth's duct tape shut. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagito from screaming for help? Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splatter all over, it doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise I wouldn't be able to look at him. Uh, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Chucky moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagito's face. In one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off of his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. I'll put it right back away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey, hey. Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine. You're gonna get cursed. Mm. Ah, the blood on Nagito's face. It looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. If that's the case, mm. it's no use. She's not listening to it. Hey, hey. hey, about that blood splattered on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. What's wrong with that? Well? His duct tape has crinkles, like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Seriously? What's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got the wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked in his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue, too. I should remember it. Both of Nagito's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs were all stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagito, but they also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like that? Yeah. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge toward him. Or they might have been torturing him. To torture? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you disregard the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagato's body were from the killer torturing him. If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagato confess? Seeing Nagato with that expression on his face is just crazy. Like, that's, that's not an expression I'd think to see from Nagato. Then again, I'd also, I also didn't think he was going to die. Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have had a deep grudge toward Nagato. Yeah. Refusing to let him die easily. I could totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. It's probably the reason the wound on his left arm doesn't look deep compared to his other wounds. 
But regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. There's something strange. Strange? What? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from when his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't the blood spatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... There's something else that's strange? When you flip it over and look at the back of his hand... There's also blood, but... Only above the middle joint of each finger. You're right. Why is it only this part? Hmm? It's just as I said, right? It's strange, right? Hmm. I win. Yeah, sure, you win. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Nagito's right wrist is tied with rope, but it looks like the tip of that rope burned off. Could this be the result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope is burned off like this, why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. Jeez. I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly-looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me. And one of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Manakuma's dead. There's blood coming out of his stomach. H hey. No responses. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced in this factory? <laughs> if you're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal, too. Don't put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What the heck? What are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like he got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood. Did he try to imitate Nagito's body or something? What are you saying? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil. He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. What's this? You seem more pissed than usual these days, Bonomi. But you better watch what you say. <laughs> if I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I, I won't give in to your threats. I'll fight you to the very end. I can't I'll definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Monokuma. Looks like those annoyances are gone. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably... Those fire grenades that were used to put out the fire. Well, they weren't actually that useful in the end. The fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, this evidence really isn't all that strange. One of us killed Nagito in such a cruel way? <laughs> it's too bizarre. I I can't do anything except laugh. Like... I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but 
I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Huh? What's gonna happen? This rotten school trip's gonna end, right? We can finally go back home! Carefree till the end. Does that mean you don't think that'll happen? Well, yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey. What do you mean, something? He, he's making us kill each other, you know? What could be worse than that? I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with a countdown. A anyway, like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. We'll think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. I know. Yeah, I know. Then don't bring up strange stuff like that. If only everybody could go home. Nothing would make me happier. No, we should be able to finish the class trial and then think about what will happen after. She looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yep. Yeah, about that sprinkler. That's one of the sprinkler's heads that activated to put out the fire. You can see a girder right next to it, right? There. Mm -hmm. Can you see that red streak? Huh? You're right. I definitely see it. It looks like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Is that blood? Blood? This color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Um. It mattered for Gundam's killing and for me guns. But it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? So... The time. Looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time of death was noon sharp. If it was noon, what were we doing at that time? Hmm. What were we doing? Well, right now it's... 12.30 p.m. Oh, so it also has a clock function. And that means Nagato died 30 minutes ago. Huh? huh? It happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. We were all together. Um, if it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagato's killer. But this could be like where Nakamaru died. The killer could have also used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to prepare. Right. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs is suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we were all split up to search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. A lighter. Oh, this is... It's an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here. That's ah, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. Is the most foolish thought this is clearly the cause of the fire. Well? Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of, of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using an oil lighter, huh? You think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. It caused a fire to destroy evidence? That's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set fire to their crime scene, but... Now then, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagato. There should have been another reason as well. 
If not, they wouldn't have gone into the trouble of tying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that. There's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is this here? Maybe. It looks like that weird music was playing from there. Hmm. You know, that music that was blaring when the fire started? Oh yeah, you're right. Looks like it's busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistake in it. The music was playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but... Why was the killer playing music from this? There are a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the curtain in the back was tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. Yeah, they were stacked up. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... <clears throat> it's fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem, seriously, it'll be fine. Blah, blah, blah. Could it be? Was that it? Yeah. There's something else I've been wondering. These Monokuma panels are tipped over, starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other, in a straight line. Yeah, compared to other tipped over panels, this... That line is the only one that's neat and orderly. Uh, Isn't it clearly strange? Strange. That means... You can speculate this was done intentionally. Copies of Monokuma's music, they should have been burned too. Apparently a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. The com sprinklers completely soaked them. I can't even turn the pages anymore. Oh, it's not like I'm missing much. Hmm. Looks like this side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out the fire. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did that, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and became all wet and soggy. <laughs> Miss Sonia's all wet? She's all drenched and soggy. Ha <laughs> hey. You were thinking that, huh? Of course not. I wasn't thinking that at all. Hey, Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. You're screwing with me. Oh my, screwing? How lewd. Hey, hey, hey. Please don't look at me with such fearful eyes. I only imagined it for a second. Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. Well, even though I did say I was going to friggin' kill him. There's no way I would have actually done it. I was just upset, you know? Jeez. Think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Looks like Sonya's focused on the investigation, on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that we're pretty much done investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonia, do you have a minute? Um, yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? 
It's all right. It's not a bomb. Why'd you know the bombs were fake? Um, um well, that's not all either. We were looking for the bombs. Why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my. I cannot be. Do you, do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding. I'm not the killer. Jesus shit, you son of a bitch. Sonia? I am sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I was panicking. Um... I shall calm down and explain it to you while I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted bombs, you got suspicious and wanted to investigate them? That is... And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you searched for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen. Because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How'd you find out the bombs at the military base were fake? Um, because I attempted to use one of them. What? I, I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Um, at the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. However, that plan was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it! All to hell! Hmm. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Mangi as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... If those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean that Nagato took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagato blew up the hotel lobby. Um. That bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagato's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real as well. If so, then Nagito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. Um, With this, I've explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right. I got it. Alright, I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there's still so many things I don't understand yet. Hold it. You look worried. Yeah, I am. Well? At a time like this, it'd be good if you broaden your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about the crime besi uh, besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushy factory next door. It doesn't mean castle where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room too. Um, yeah, others have finished investigating. Let's go check the, those other places. Yes, let's go to the preceding area. What is it say? Okay, yeah, I'm a little tired of reading all these. I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, we need more clues. Oh, hey. There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Okay. Bomb stuff in the truck garage. The fireworks reminds me this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagito must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. It's an enormous machine, but it's stopped for now. Looks like there's nothing related to the incident here. Nagito's video message on the laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? She not how to send the message up perfectly. It's set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. After that time, Nagato should have already been killed. Which means that video was recorded in advance. 
Sorry, besides that video, there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. Because I thought in mine I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Anything inside? There's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue. Not even trash. I have never seen so many monokumas in my life. Well, monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. While I was staring at all these monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off in the li at the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? You have a if you hide the bomb inside a monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. Right. Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Oh, hold on. There was a bomb inside these. Wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Either way, it is all gravy. All gravy? What the hell does that mean? Enough, Stop! There's no bomb! Hey, um... You'll know if you pick me up, see? All you'll feel is the soft weight of cotton. Mm -hmm. You're right. However... Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. If I'm going to give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs were all fakes. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm telling you now for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then... You brought it from the octagon. Well I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies sounds like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it. Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. So let's explore the military base. Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. Huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed in the truck bed. Whoa. Oh, found it! Hmm, what'd you find? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival life. Wait, that's... Isn't that the same exact type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? Maybe. Which means the killer obtained the knife here. Right. So the killer is someone who visited the military base at least once. That's everyone, though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. If the bombs are fake, this might be a fake, too. But I'm not brave enough to check for myself. It's a dreadful helicopter. The one that executed Teru Teru. It doesn't have anything to do with the incident. I tried looking through the truck bed. It's empty. Nothing's here. 
When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sony was telling the truth. As I suspected, the bombs had disappeared, blah, 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 flashback. But did Nakato know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Did you really think there were enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Yeah, this is flashback. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. spear with a flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. The spear is definitely it, right? I see. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle and there's a weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of these spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gugner, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. yeah, they could have just killed him with a knife, and it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this, with this unnecessary cord on it, would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose this spear for a reason. What could that be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling a strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some sort of clue. Alright, let's go. Are there a hundred levels? Like level ups that I can have? Because I just got the achievement halfway there after I reached level 50. This isn't where I need to go. I need to go to Nagato's cottage. What are you doing here? What's this? Oh my! You want to go inside Nagito's room too? Hajime. Ah, uh, Hajime. What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's college because she really needs it for the class trial. 
She begged me to do so while licking my black eye. I didn't do that. Didn't do it. It's sweet because it's made of black beans. I, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? See, I've opened the door. Now you can freely investigate. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. So Nagito was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope? Becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us? No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. It was especially weird these past few days. That's Monomi's treasure box, right? What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Uh, could this be? Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's my magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Perhaps. That treasure box. Chucky, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monomi was talking about Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out. It might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it going to be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know. If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monomi in the first place. I turned back to the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside there was a notebook. This is it? Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Ubiaki is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this? A diary? Looks like it. Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five, page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. Don't really understand, but looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my head suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. We've been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was so close. If I'd come any later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook. Mm. Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if the notebook is here, um, then Nagito was the thief? No. The betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student! Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Yeah. Diary? Um, um, it seems that way. That's right. It's my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey, hey, hey you're a liar! Oh, uh, you always show up out of nowhere. But no, me. It's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah. After all, Monomi can't even write. 
Huh? What are you saying? Geez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. See, bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way, too. Oh, are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? So that's what this is about. You're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Huh? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote in it? Well, you know, it's, um, how should I put it? Bye -bye. Excuse me. Hold on! Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. Same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Oh, we should still check just in case. With no expectations without thinking, I peeked under the bed and... Hmm, there's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. What is this? Looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. Homie was prepared for quarantine. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves. He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? Hajime. Was there anything else under the bed? Let's see. Looked under the bed once again and started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and... There's a small piece of paper on the floor. Piece of paper... Made of blue aluminum? Mm. A round thin piece of aluminum, huh? Similar to those seals that go over the jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Hmm, who knows? It might be too soon to decide that. There's a refrigerator? Huh? Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagito probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talked with Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Hmm. There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's stocked very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Really? It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? Took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death? Uh, hey, this is... Yeah, looks like it's poison. P poison? Looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. So stop it. If you worry like that, I'm going to get nervous. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its vol volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it is heavier than air, and it breaks down in minutes, and it is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep those liquids secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. 
But where did Nagito get something like this? Well? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel, too. Apply to the bomb? There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the fun house. The poison, he must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere in his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial? Mm. Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at his lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? Looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Uh, another trap? For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it would be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Uh, everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you died? I said suffer instead of suffer. They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? I definitely don't know much about Nagito by just by looking at this. So what should we do? It should be real difficult to look through all these piles. That doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Wait, what? It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff there. Well, that might be true, but... So I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. So I had to walk toward the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Huh? The file. Yeah, 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 if I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really had only my information, then why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought, Nagato had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was information about the others. And everyone who died had pages of information about them, too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. Can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that meant the rest of it might be a lie, too? I turned the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height, my weight, and so forth. There was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words, Reserve Course Student. There was no denying it. I confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Well, I just found a strange file. Isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are here, too. Nagito was lying. When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Hmm. If it's not written anywhere, 
These profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. <gasps> it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, hold on. What happened? I just noticed it right now, but... Also, I know I'm missing that Monokuma thingy. I can't click it. about Yakuya Togami. Look carefully, no matter where I look. I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you might think he, he might be the traitor. No, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. It's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in this killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island. No matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but... What you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life... Yeah. It's totally wrong! There's a completely different reason! A different reason? How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Biakia for no reason! Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds the Biakia doesn't exist! You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation! What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You'd know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly, I came to a page that was filled with, filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter? That's that Byakuya's true identity! True identity? He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. So Byakuya is not dead. The real Byakuya is still alive. The character we love from the first game is still alive. That's actually great news. A, a fake? Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his name and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. Though I'm not jealous of that at all. That person... wasn't really Byakuya Togami? Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool. His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all! Real imposters are skilled like that! Then he was lying to us the whole time? But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Because that was his talent. Well, having a talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life's already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating! What the hell? I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with! That's right. So I'll tell you straight. This revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth! Then, what was he trying to say to me at the time? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn 
For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Oh. Hmm. Based on the context, if I had to guess. No, no. Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys went to Hope Speak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Manomi or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Mm -hmm. So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor's a spy sent by the Future Foundation. Not a student from Host Peak Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct. It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito, right? Too, right? Well, probably. <laughs> it's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure? Was it a wise decision? Time's up, you know. So time's up? Wait. Bye. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, I can't collect that extra Monokuma, damn it. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up or down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. Last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial? Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? He said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. I can't imagine that it's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. I his real plan? If Monokuma's still planning to make us do something, what could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well? But still, it's not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. Class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on the file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. But still. Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together... Yeah, if we do this, things will turn out fine. Alright, you guys will give me one second. I'm finna, I'm finna, 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 finna. Get some hot cocoa or something. Because I'm sitting down for a while. I'm going to stretch my legs for a second and, um, and just get that, you know. I'll, I'll be right back. Enjoy the BRB screen, by the way.
All right, all right, we're back. Took me a second. Oh, jeez, my volume's up. So, oh, pff, my bad. Let's just click, click. Got my cocoa. Just gonna let it cool down a little bit. Time for the class trial. Should have just gone the other direction, dude. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it, you're making me depressed. Super cool. um. So, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but, once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That's right. The Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn. We've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know? You know right? That's why I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial. That's right. I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. Oh, what the fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? feeling of wanting to leave this island. Thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know. Huh? huh? W what are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <sighs> uh, stop trying to jinx us! I'll take you up. Damn right, stupid rabbit should just shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. I finally realized... After losing my powers, I realized that cursing your powerlessness or fates accomplished nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I'll fight. Huh? Well, what's her deal? Um. I don't really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. Let her rise. She looks so determined. Ooh. What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Anyway, make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. Oh, fine. But still. Somehow I understand what Minomi's saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going. To the last class trial. Yep. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what a hopeless truth awaits us in the end. This is the end. I keep saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. Yeah. 
It's elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well? Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. The killer. He managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone... The ones who survive need to stand and fight. We must fight. And then the door slowly opened. The bright light greeting us? Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Well then! Well then! Now that that chatterbox Nagito is gone, there's only six of you left! Shut the hell up! Enough! Just Fucking start this already! Hey. hey, this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep, yep it sure is! <laughs> so you gotta show some enthusiasm to make sure you give it your all! all right. Didn't I tell you? He said it, this is the end! Now then. Let's get this trial started! Killing. This is the last class trial! Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other! This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. The curtain is about to rise. Nagato Kamaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. But his true nature held such a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said that he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times when he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. If we'll be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out the person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, the last one has begun. Nice. Now then, let's begin with a central explanation of the class during the class trial. Yeah, 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 yeah,
at the latter of adulthood and reach the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Chesso! One more time! Jeez! How about this one? This will be my final blow! It's useless. I feel bad for Monami. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monami. The class trial has started, after all. The victim this time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or... Alright. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut- I'm telling you, they were torturing him! But the reason Nagito's body was covered with whips- It's because the killer tortured Nagito! So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, it's the suspect. No. It's whoever found the bomb first. That was Fuyuhiko. I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? No. Were the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by torture in the first place? The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with- It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Okay, so I'm gonna guess it's something to contradict that they tortured. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding. If so, it's whoever found that was Fuyu. <laughs> I found it. There's no way I'd torture someone. The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's body. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Yeah, that's not crap. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, it's the suspect. It's whoever found the bomb first. I don't even remember what Monokuma panels was. Oh yeah, I remember what that was. Uh, the killer didn't take I'm trying to go to Monokuma's account. There we go. They were the reason Nagito's bomb. It's because the killer. So that's why. What were they trying to? Definitely the bomb. If so, it's whoever found the bomb first. No, no, the Monokuma file. Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. All right, all right. I'm getting tired of this. If I fail something like three times, then <laughs> that's the giving up point.
What? I don't understand why that's it, but okay. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to sever? <laughs> so, is whoever found that was Fuyu? I found him. There's no way I'd torture someone. The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, there was a reason Nagito's body. It's because the killer tortured. Nope. No, that's wrong. So why does this counter it? Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. Well, what if they were just wanting to torture him for the sake of torture, and not because they wanted to get information? If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared! Ah, I just realized it! It's a trap! A trap? Stupid, Hajime! You got caught in that trap! Stupid? You said if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. They wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention. This is how it was. First, the killer tortured Nag and got information. Then, after they killed him. Damn it! Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. They wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. I can't back down! But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nag and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. No. Whew, that was close, you guys. Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. Pay attention. This is how it first. The killer tortured Nag and got information about the. Then, after they killed him, I mistyped. I mean, misclicked. Damn it. Damn it. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, but that was the trap. They wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to pay attention? This is how it first, the killer tortured Nag and got information about then after they killed him. Allow me to cut through those words. Nope, cuz there was no blood under the duct tape. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? Mark, we don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? You have a crush on him or something? Uh, are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wound. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of cradles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so he wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture, it was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, it was him crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? Yes, Akane. I can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, 
Everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing is just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now... Well, maybe they had a mechanism to where whenever the door opened, the lighter would fall. We should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that. But that has been the pattern before. That's our next plan. You have such an amazingly high intellect. All righty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sony thinks. Damn right it is. The reason for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. What's the lighter? Oil lighter. Yeah. I have to scroll all the way through. God damn it. The direct cause of the fire was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Oh, yeah. Use some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? No. Trap. The direct cause of the fire was the oil lighter found at the killer used some he lit the curtain on fire. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Oh. The, uh, the standees, the, the Monokuma there should have been a panels. Way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused... Yes. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind catcher! A dust devil blowing air from glorious Japan! No, not wind crusher. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? There's one more thing to hide the domino effect. music I see you're talking about the mp3 player right that din blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels yep yep that's it so the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling but those sounds weren't the only strange thing right Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. N no, that's not the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, flashback, flashback. Whew. Ah, so the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened... 
open the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighthouse. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. You don't look so scared. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? It's a blocked doorway. There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. That door was the only entrance to the warehouse. I see. So the problem is Chiaki is talking about is the killer couldn't have left. Let's see. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. But based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. But you don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Huh? You don't mean... But if that's true, this murder... Um, Hajime? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. What do you mean, Nagito himself? This is my answer. Why do I... It was Nagito. Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was his suicide? <laughs> Don't be stupid. That'd be a crazy suicide, dude. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Like you said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but I feel like I'm overlooking something. The burned rope. Um, maybe it's the burned rope. I, I feel like it's the burned rope. Tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with a free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you used your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Um a dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? All right, so never mind. It might not be that. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your All right, I'm stumped again. Dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? I guess that makes sense. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. No, that's wrong. Yeah, it wasn't both arms. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? 
I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. The knife in his hand. Trap. No. His right sleeve. Because it's not burned. It's not burned at all. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagato's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back? What the heck? Hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it. If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Way to stab yourself in the right hand using only your right hand. It's okay, there's definitely an answer for this. If Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is this landlord's expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow and slammed his right hand down on it? Propped it onto what? If he just propped the knife, he could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. We don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. Hmm. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is this landlord's ex? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Yes, on the girder. No? It, it's wrong. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is this landlord's expert? Maybe he propped it and slammed his right hand down on it? Propped it onto what? If he just propped the knife, he could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. We don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. Even if Nagito's right hand, how could he stab his If he threw the knife into the and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is this landlord's ex- Did he prop it on the plushie? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? I agree with that. Oh, okay, I guess he did. So was this all just an elaborate suicide? Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. 
I inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Sandy slammed his hand onto it. To thatch it, he had to place the plushie near him, and it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. I, uh, I see. So that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. A bleeding slushy is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhito? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. The fear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a fear, right? If you think about the order, getting killed by the fear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? Well, she probably used like the whip part and like held on to it and then let go when he was ready. He can't grab the spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. <laughs> There is a limit to his constitution. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Ah, uh, say it one more time. I need to repeat it. Sorry to have to do this. Hey, bastard, you better cut it out. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this town, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. <laughs> Mamonomy sassing me! Just as Monokuma said, we've been betrayed over and over again so far. So, this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. I feel that there's... some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. Yeah, the whip part. What's I don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how we made it this far up till now. Everyone working together. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then even now. All right, let's do this. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? 
He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also I bet he had the, the whip part tied around his hand. That's why there was no blood on his palm. That's the case. Or back of his hand. He used his teeth? Or maybe he used his front tail? Idle guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. <laughs> what are you saying? The bossing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome! His hand. Magico stabbed himself with a spear. Let's work together. When the spear stuck his right hand was covered by the knife, right? Oh, 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 wait, that's the wrong hand. Crap. How did Magico... Let's work together. When the spear stuck his right hand was... He was only able to... But his left hand was also... Then that rules out his left hand. Nope. No, that's wrong. Rules out his right hand. Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know. But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? Oof. He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? And the blood splatters. That's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand. But like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? Gripping. I see. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange-looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? <gasps> There's the thought. He was obviously grabbing the spear. Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. That's right, that's the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Huh? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. The cord. I see. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were blood stains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a blood stain shape like it was cut off by something. Isn't the size of that cut off section? About the same size as a human hip? Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping. Yeah. And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not going to say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. <clears throat> Nagito was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. From there, how he would stab himself in the stomach with the spear. He, there were, there was blood on the rafters, right? Or whatever that thing up above was. He had the thing. He... He obviously had it thrown over that, dangling, and was holding it, waiting to let go and let it fall on himself. Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? At a time like this, how about we stick to... The plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once. That's a long plan, Nane. One step at a time? What does that mean? 
Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned? Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that... That's it. Could it be? That state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment. If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure out where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Dangling. Oh, this is logic dive, not Hangman's Gambit. Ow. Above him. There we go. Easy, easy. The cord. Easy. It's all coming together. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. Must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? That'd be awesome, but he probably used a seal girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the seal girder and using that as a support. He hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Are you kidding? Probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did that, there's no reason they'd go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then, this is for real? He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body. That was all him? Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping the spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mask too? He probably covered his own mask so he wouldn't feign screaming in pain. Do we need to go that far? That's beyond crazy. 
Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. And that's why he stabbed himself over and over again. Do you want us to die that bad? Jeez. And I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated his capability for malice. Capacity, not capability. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form his malice took. I've forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. He tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. I don't know, this seems like a really short class trial if that was the case. Hmm. That should be okay, right? Right? <laughs> what? You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. <coughs> Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but... Why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is, or...? So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Utani? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong somehow. I don't know. You're right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. It... It might not be a suicide. It could just be performed really well. It's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? Then it's okay? It's okay to say, We've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time! No, hold on a sec. Yeah, I knew this class trial was too short. Uh, uh, hold on? Why? S sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I, I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. No matter how you look at huh. it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's this one thing that doesn't make sense, and it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Something related to Nagito's death. It's something that even he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? Here, I thought we were finally finished. A piece of evidence that he couldn't mess with. He couldn't mess with the Monokuma file.
So the Monokuma file? I see. Yeah. The writ about the Monokuma file? Yeah. That's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? Discovered in the warehouse. Noon sharp is the time of death. Our last version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suspicious part of the Monokuma file that Chiaki is worried about is. What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? Oh, come on. Time of death? Okay, so it's not time of death. What? What? So it starts with C A. This is my We will never give up. Cause of death. I messed that up. Where's an H? Come on. There we go. In this particular case's Monokuma file, there's no specific cause of death. Yeah, there really isn't. So we don't know that. The lance is his cause. That the spear is his cause of death. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? Spear on Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma, I squeeze the spit. Here he goes again. I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Nikon's case. The thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. I'm saying that of 
try this time too? <sighs> well, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but, but it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? Th that's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations, and that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma, you heard us. The voting is gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. That's what I believe. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. The absolute hope can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then, the situation we're in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. <laughs> no, no. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was going to start, but... Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was going to happen. We haven't even done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figure that out too. You're the only one who didn't know. Isn't that right, Manomi? Hey, how much longer are you planning to sulk? Let's get along like we always do. Alright, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the silence when you're all alone with someone else. So, Manomi and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy, tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know. We aren't even friends in the first place. And as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Well, there may be some demands for that. I fell for it. I totally took the man bait. I'm going to fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm going to 
to show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the sphere. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Huh. Blood loss. If something other than the sphere killed Nagito, all I can think of is a nice stab he took hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wound... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like... It's possible that we overlooked something. Maybe he got poisoned. Overlooked, huh? Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We could cooperate at a time like this. A fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if that actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is no matter what. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wound. With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Yes. I agree with that. The poison. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's body, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. <laughs> poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? Thus, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No. The warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appeared! You're totally overvaluing that tail! His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how'd he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. Could have been a gas. It's more effective in its gaseous state.
gas. Knew it. Hey, what's up, Cal? The fuck is this? It's one of the mini games uh, for the class trial. Jeez, okay, question two. How did the poison through his nose? Either that or his wounds. Because if it's a gas state, he could have breathed it in. Oh, there were only two questions? Okay. It's all coming together. Easy. Also, high sets. What if instead of drinking the poison... Hang right instead of talking and wrong. That dog and rum. Dag and rum pomomia. Inhale? It's written on the poison's warning label. Yep. Highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Look, it's very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? The reason we didn't breathe in the poisonous gas. I should be able to explain this mystery, too. The smoke? No. Um, the sprinklers. Did the sprinklers wash it away? I see. Okay. The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Okay, so all of this is still pointing it to it being a suicide, but we don't think it is a suicide. Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. In the gaseous state, it's heavier than air. It breaks down to minutes, and this is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it's possible if you poison someone to death without it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Hydrolysis. I'm going to guess that has something to do with water, because of hydro. Hey, thanks for the follow, Oliver. Welcome to the stream. So it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But Nakiko was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it. If it meets the requirements that way, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Does it feel like Chiaki is Chihiro's daughter? Chihiro, Chihiro. Which character was Chihiro? Uh, let me research. Oh, why would Chiaki be Chihiro's daughter? Huh. I don't know. I mean, she is a gamer. And I could see Chihiro being a gamer. Oh, because they look alike? I guess I could see it. I could see it a little bit. on his body, the spear in his stomach. It was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? It's been enough already. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. I mean, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. 
We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Uh, well, but what? There's still more? Want to know an unused execution? Depends. Is it for the first game or this game? Because I don't want to know it if it's for this game. Just in case, you know, future spoilers. I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. First game? Sure. In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No, that can't be. There might have been an accomplice. Huh? N Naki, what did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought... Somebody had to make it into a gas because its effects are instant. Then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? And they, yeah, they would have had to, they would have had to bring it back. Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that makes sense. To find it there. If Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is the container. I see. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it. It's strange he couldn't find that container anywhere, right? He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that's written on the warning label. Yeah, I keep this in a cool place, such as a glass or plastic bottle, blah, blah. Probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it's completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? But that's why you mentioned an accomplice! <laughs> that is impossible! I mean... An accomplice? Isn't that still... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean... Even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Why would somebody do that? Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it. Oh, I don't think anybody in this group is stupid enough to take something away from the crime scene. Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. And... It was in Nagito's fridge. Why would they know to bring it to Nagito's fridge if they just picked it up from the crime scene? I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore. By hurting someone else. Everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I... I also feel that way. That's why I just want to rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But that's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. <coughs> By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hope. That's interesting. Fujisaki. Is that Chihiro's last name? I think that's Chihiro's last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Chihiro's. That's an interesting one. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? Alright, so I was right. See, I remember things sometimes. Just 
be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? If, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Tsuyoshiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But why would it be in Nagito's fridge? But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragment. <laughs> but what is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagito brought the poison... Which means the thing he used as a container was... None of the unused executions in this game has spoilers. Well, if it's an unused execution for somebody that was already murdered, then fine. But if it's somebody that's still alive right now, then I don't want to hear it. The way Nagito brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was... Oh, jeez. The hangman's gambit in this one, or... Fire extinguisher? This one's not nearly as bad as the other one, jeez. I don't need that for now. I won't need that at all. Can I have a G please? Oh, fire grenades. It's fire grenades. Oh, wait, wrong button, wrong, wrong one. He put it in a fire grenade? I see. I got it. Huh? The fire grenade. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Uh, he used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah. The container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Bastard. He totally knew we were going to throw those fire grenades. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? Uh, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. There was one of those seals under his bed. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Azume... If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible. Yusonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? There we go. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cot. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. You wish if Gundam was a survivor over Soda? No. That is yeah, Gundam was a good character. I liked Gundam. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's
so dead? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. We also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping it. So, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See? I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. I don't know. Story. I don't know. I don't know. That there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. But you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Wait. Did one of the fire grenades that we threw kill him? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Yes, I have a missing opening in your second second. Nice little muffin. <laughs> is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Jockey? I'm sorry. But I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. But when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? We ran into there at about noon, so his time of death was about when we went in there. So if one of us threw the fire grenade and it killed him, that makes sense. It probably happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were brought, and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison, were the same? What could that moment be? When we all threw the grenades. Wait. Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. So it's an accidental death, because... To put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed. And it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. So the killer is one of us, but... If that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean... He didn't kill himself. What the heck? You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! The, then who killed Nagito? You mean, he's the actual killer, right? Do we know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh. Well, Nagito prepared it. I see. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison? The person who set the fire was Nagito. The person behind all of it was Nagito. Hey, how many times are you going to ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? The reason Nagato set the warehouse on fire was to make someone throw the poison. I see. Don't tell me. He He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenade? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why did he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison, creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagato. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously, I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? C could it be? 
Was that Nagito's trap? Ultimate robot, whatever, more like ultimate annoying guy. Yeah. This wasn't any Mechanic, murder. not robot. This was a that Saying robot made me think he was Nekamaru. <laughs> Poison with the other grenade. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. <laughs> no, no, you're not stupid. I mean, he he does technology like robot stuff. Also. I got confused reading Soda, because I'm used to calling him just Kazuichi. I never really refer to him as Soda. Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. Wow, this is actually the poison grenade insane. In the fire were trapped. That's why the curtain with the fire's origin came. Jesus Christ, Nagito. They fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then. Hold, hold, hold on. If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so. The poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hopes, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. When you started playing Goodbye Despair, you already knew Terra Terra was going to kill someone just because how he looks. Dang. I mean, I mean, you were immediately proven right. No unsolvable mysteries. That is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you. As expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. How fucked up? It is my fault. Because I told you all about the fire grenade. I... I am so sorry. I am only as a killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not... It's Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Kazuichi. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. I impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. <laughs> However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras. If Monokuma doesn't know, his trial doesn't count. Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonia. And one of those visit things could take a while. <laughs> Please stop. I will never become clean. How can you... such an awful power so of course this trial still counts do your very best to guess who the killer is yes he said how the hell are we supposed to do that giving up all we can do no it's too early to give up 
Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably you. There's one way. Open. Like how they make custom picks for the dead characters, like how Mikan has bandages on the X and Terra Terra's pick. Yeah, that is really cool. I I didn't even notice. What? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagiko's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. Well, I think I've noticed, I just haven't paid attention to it, so I didn't really process it. That's right. It doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it. Even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. Clo oh, oh, where I'm going. I'm doing the closing argument already? What was inside Nagito's refrigerator? Well, the poison, but it's not here. Right before switching the poison. What was placed inside the break room? What was beyond the Monokuma panel? Nice. Haven't got a single one wrong yet. Come on. Inside Nagato's refrigerator. That. Place inside the break room. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I figured that wasn't wrong. I mean, that wasn't right. This one. Yeah. Dude, I have no idea how this this man's some sort of masochist. Jeez, man. I'm a lot less upset about the fact that um that he died because, you know, now I actually know he was the one who orchestrated it. in this case the person who actually arranged this incident was the victim Nagito Komaeda he kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan Monokuma's special poison which he brought with him from the octagon using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base you like Nagito? It's just funny how his character is. I think he's a really cool character. Like, dude's actually insane. Of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence: the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade. Took it with him to the factory. Put it back 
back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hid a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. He's crazy, even more crazy than Joel. Yeah, absolutely. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and leg were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagato's plan. And then he did something no one could have predicted. He probably Jill is jelly, so she wants to murder him. <laughs> First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, she'd probably fangirl over him. He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Dude, I could never. Knife on the plus sheet and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. So you can leave Pyaki up by Master and going to Master Nagito. Man, I'm happy that actual Byaki is not dead. Or at least as far as we know. And that that was an imposter Byaki. Sucks that Mr. Imposter Guy died, but... I'm glad it wasn't the Byaki we all knew and loved. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. Yeah, the fat Byakuya is the ultimate imposter. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity Should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. 
How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? This chapter's sad. Not going to tell you what happens or who the killer is, but sad. I mean, uh, I'm going to assume it's sad. All these characters are actually innocent, but one of them is going to get punished. Why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope can break through any despair. Wait, absolute hope that can't that can break through any despair. Can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believes in from the bottom of his heart. That's not hope, Nagito. That's despair. True. I want you to try to remember what that is. What Nagito believed in. His talent. I see. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky steal. After all this time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So, it's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in fact, <laughs> Haji, mate. <laughs> cleared the final bedroom at the fun house. Dude, that was insane. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Ooh, Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it toward you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it? Oh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Bonomi said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. Stop that copyright in Nagito, you can't steal Makoto's talent. Honestly. That- You only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving? But I'm still alive. After all, the only thing good about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I don't want to read all this flashback. Come on, come on, get it out of here. But his luck that was a flashback inside of a flashback! No flashback. There's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set flashback up Flashback inside of a flashback. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. But he trusted his... His luck that they would be the one to throw it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. That's not the button I wanted to press. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target.
after he was active would pick up the fire grenade. You mean he left his plan to look? He risked his life for that? This is the most dialogue after a closing argument I think I've ever seen. He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? No, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. I see. Yeah, the traitor. I mean, pfft. that's it. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Yep. Then he he relied on his luck to weed out the traitor. Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then what he said in his video message. Yeah, yeah, you have to use the Trader Student Handbook. To be honest, I found out who the Trader was, but I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then, it's just as Nagito said from the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the Trader. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached that answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long. Was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that. <laughs> Manomi the killer? It means he Gotta be. Us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monomy, it looks like you've got something you want to say, but you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... We can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our vote. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think a traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? So how Chiaki has feelings about Monomi? Would it have uh -oh. stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Because they weren't created to do that. Chiaki? What? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. Did I get any of the special events? Uh, what do you mean? If you're asking, like, people that I maxed out, um, I maxed out Chiaki and Gundam and Fuyihiko. Like, got all their hope fragments, if that's what you're asking. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. No? What are the special events? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that I didn't get them. Who do you think it is, Hajime? What do you think the future foundation said to infiltrate your group as the traitor? What? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Oh. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. Chiaki sounded kind of robotic right now, and I know they were making robots. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. The game will tell me, but... Oh, I'm right. Oh, I didn't want to be right. I didn't want to be right. 
I don't that. want to be right. You were the traitor? But please, hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. I'm still not sure if she's a robot or not, but... Because I do know they were making robots, but I don't think they have special events or events that can that you can get in any chapter with a special item. Oh, yeah, I don't think yeah, I don't think I got any of those. The egg was sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all. It was unique. Damn it! Why? This is, I mean. This is nonsense. Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. What are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? I mean, up till now, you've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time. We have been helping each other all this time. Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation, that is obviously a lie. But please, wait. The Future Foundation isn't what you think it is. Shut the fuck up. We're talking to Chiaki. No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Remember when Hyoko said Mahiro and Hyoko were going to take a shower together in Chapter 2? If you had the man's night, you could have gotten the special event. Oh. Interesting. But we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote. H hold on! We're not satisfied yet! If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, Why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. Of course I feel sad for Chiaki. Literally my two favorite characters. Two trials in a row. It's definitely strange, right? <sighs> Rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Huh? Hey, Hajime, can you do me a small favor? Favor? Me? You got to go. All right, see you, Oliver. Thank you for sticking around, and thanks for the follow. I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. Uh, what? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but as I expected, it's rather difficult. That's why the only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... there's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry. But this is the only way. So please. <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... Sh she's not disguised at all! Cause Chiaki isn't the traitor! Nanami? <laughs> 
part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Damn it. Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Monomi's bullshitting. Monomi and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here. I is that the only way? Okay. So my panic attack action this time. Oh, Chiaki wrote what was in the notebook, didn't she? When we investigated Nagito's cottage, I discovered Kazu a Sami can't. A new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right. Since I knew something like this would happen. I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook. Yeah, I'm on a commercial at Eastern Now, Piaki is the leader. A lot of things happen today, so everyone's tired. Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that, too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito would know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No, the truth is I might have already known from the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it contained. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Which means it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote this. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would we know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here. That only me and one other person would know. Final dead room. In the notebook, there was a specific entry. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Yeah, the only one who knew that was her. That's right. The only person who knew that is Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, if Chiaki is a traitor, what was all that time he spent with her? Was that all a lie too? 
I don't think it was a lie. I think that the trader is probably not bad. I don't know. I don't know how, what about the Future Foundation. I don't know about the Future Foundation, but I, I feel like Chiaki's not bad. Estonia. I feel like being the trader doesn't immediately make them bad. I don't know, but... Oh. He has been controlled by Monokuma. That is why he should help her. I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. Oh, she was trying to get it to work. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the trader's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. But she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She knew? That is a mistake. That must be a mistake. Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? She wasn't rushing. Of course not. I will not believe it. She, she was kind of slow to react when I told her that the bombs were found. I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... But then nobody will be saved. <laughs> Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was me when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs, there's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. Chiaki is not the traitor. When we were trying to turn off the bomb, didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was me when I tried to detonate it. That's not it. Wow, okay. Oh, Monomi knew. Manomi knew when she told Chiaki. Manomi was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Estonia? Chiaki heard about it from Manomi. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just think that. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because if I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monomi. I do not want to hear that! Enough already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. If Sam... Just because she knew the bomb was a fake, does not mean we should decide she is a traitor! <sighs> Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chiaki is a traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chiaki is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I, I accidentally wasted my first one. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chiaki is the traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should 
Damn it. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chaffee is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. All right, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. All right. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier. Correct. He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki. It's just Monami and Chiaki were working together. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chiaki is a traitor. If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too. After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. No, not that. No, I messed that up. Messed that up. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told you that it was fake beforehand. knew the bomb was a fake but monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either i wonder if i'm gonna give you guys a hint and you should know it wasn't from the military base to tell you the truth the bombs there are all fakes i know that already you should have said so earlier well i thought i kept quiet it was foreshadowed that a killing was gonna happen blah 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 I'm gonna believe Monokuma and Chiaki because Chiaki's saying it. Not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you, that's not it. 
We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? Doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe that. The Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? This is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. Um. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. So you're telling us to believe in you? To sacrifice you? That is just too cruel! I'm sorry. Chiaki! Mami, I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Hey, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me and cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it end up like this? It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But... Even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking. Oh fuck, I don't want this hat. And believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. Man, I'm pooped! Let's go ahead and announce the result. The traitor from the Future Foundation and Nagato Kamaeda's killer is... Chiyaki Nanami! Are you serious? That was correct? The fact that Chiaki was a traitor. The fact that Nagato's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, everyone. Damn it. Oh, stupid. We're not celebrating at all. Damn it. Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I cannot believe it. E even though I do not want to believe it, there is no choice but to believe, right? Still streaming, Pugyu? Yeah. Yeah. 
probably going to end soon because the class trial just finished and uh, we're about to reach the end of the chapter. I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Okay. I can't betray the future foundation. It wasn't yellow. Can't betray? Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? I mean... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the future foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. You didn't say that. You're right. Why? Now it's not the time to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. By the way, this kill was set up by the person who died. And they set it up to where um, whoever killed them would accidentally kill them. And they were trusting their luck because they were the ultimate lucky student to make it the traitor. Who I don't... I feel like the traitor is not that bad. I feel like the future foundation is not bad right now. I feel like this is... I feel like Nagato shouldn't have done what he did. Uh. Nagato's the dead guy, by the way. You're still say saying things I don't get, but... If we ask you anything, you're just not gonna answer, right? Like, if we ask you why you were in the future foundation and stuff... I'm sorry. Got it. Even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki... You'll always be our friend. Even now. Yeah, because she didn't do it on purpose killing. Like, it could, literally could have been anybody who did it. Because he filled the thing that extinguished the fire with poison. So it could have been any of the ones that they've thrown to extinguish the fire. But it just happened to be the one that she threw. That killed him. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed and Chiaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan. Huh. Like... A about that. Was that really... Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't it strange? Strange? Huh. I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> you raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nakito's, Nakito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Yes, indeed. Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagito's plan. I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor. <laughs> and kill everyone else besides the traitor! Huh? C kill everyone else besides the traitor? Are you that serious? was Nagito's goal? Huh? Why would he do something like that? Of all the... To form a plan that only the traitor would survive? Is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Okay. What? Well? I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably would have taken things so far. Wouldn't have taken things so far. <laughs> you really are a kind-hearted person. Favorite fucking character, gamer girl. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? So this chapter and last chapter, both my favorite characters were the killers. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Oh, your siblings. Hey. Hey, don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Teru Teru. I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even if I know it's a fight, I cannot win. I, I must try to retaliate. Huh? huh? Retaliate? I will no longer let you do as you please. This stupid thing is stopped. What are you doing? Hey, as they say, we shall die together. She self-destructed! What'd you say? What is... 
What's going on? Huh? Monokuma, like, died? No, no. I'm not dead! <gasps> a, a, a new one fucking came out! Phew. Phew, man, that surprised me. If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died. Not yet, I'm not done yet. Hey, wait. This game isn't giving me any chances to be sad. Hey, hey, not yet. S seriously, stop it! If you don't stop right now, it's all gonna be destroyed! Of course, I'm doing it so you'll all be destroyed! I'll be the one to protect my students. I'll protect them with my life. M Monomi, you... Now then, how many of you are, are there still there? You might as well come out all at once. How oh, many? Not that much. Just around 10 to the 60th power. Oh, what did you say? What? One million? One, ten, one hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, one hundred million, one billion, one trillion, one quadrillion. Jump ahead to get 1060. That's 10 to the 60th power. After all, you're still joking around. He, you sure do have quite the daring spirit. Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? <laughs> While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created. In the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. That's what? Those were just stuffed animals. Th that's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. You're just bluffing. Manami, finish him off. Hey, um... Even if it's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality, it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. <laughs> magic, huh? Could be. If you already obtained that much p power? Hey, hey, hey. Hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be confused. Unless you mean magic in a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. What's going on? Don't tell me. They're not gonna call this magic or something. Hmm. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. In the end, even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong. <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking. So how about this? It's overwhelming despair. Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? And how many Monomis are left to challenge my army of 10 to the 60th? Uh, I, I, uh. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, I know. Let's see. You just have 10 more left, right? <laughs> I know everything. I am conqueror of the new world. I, can't I, I won't give up. Even if I have no chance to winning, I... It's okay, Mommy. Hmm? Uh huh? Well? It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone. And leave the rest to them. I... B but... Right? Right. What the hell is going on? Um... I, I do not know for certain, but... The only thing I can say is... Please listen. Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? And maybe the Future Foundation's not our enemy. Why do we think the Future Foundation's our enemy? This is bad. We're in this situation because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organizations? Yeah, okay, that's it. Let's just leave the talk for later. <laughs> because, 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 ah. Uh, because the punishment time's gonna start. Uh, oh, oh, hold on, just a little more. Just. A little more time. Sing. To wait or not to wait? That is the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But I haven't... I'm sorry. 
Hajime. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. N not that, I- For Chiyaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer! Special greeting service! Ha! Huh, for Manami, too! Huh? Why even Manomi? Hmm. It's just a two for one special! I could have killed that thing anytime I wanted since she's not a student. And so I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore! Uh -huh. And also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm an only child! Got it. What is that? It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway. And not just that. <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry I tried to trick you to the very end. Just one last time, let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Hi, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. Bye, everyone. It's okay. The shining teacher will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. I... I know. Bye-bye! Please don't forget about your teacher! Let's give it everything we've got! Then let's... Oh, he's reading it, damn it. Yeah, whatever, Monokuma. Just... Fuck, dude. Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees. A feeling of powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end.
Before I could ask what I needed to ask. Before I could say what I needed to say. Chiaki vanished before my eyes. And I couldn't even tell her, thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted a little? If she was executed as the traitor, would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. Good gracious! That was such a big surprise! As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of Pointman during the class trials. As did Nagito, too! And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer, too! Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Wait, does that mean... Now that the annoying rabbit's gone as well... All of the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone! Hey. Are you serious? We can really leave this island? I, shall now I feel like... I feel like that's not a good thing. Yep! Congratulations! With this I shall announce the end of the Killing School trip! For you five who've survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate! Hmm. Thank you for all your hard work! Are you really okay with that? Hmm? What do you mean? There are still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be set setting things up so another killing happens right away. Y you're right. S stop it, what are you saying? What, what if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Also, you said you five, like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already. Even though there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left. Mm. Are you planning to make a volleyball team? Stupid fool. You need six people for volleyball. Don't stay quiet. Say something. What's your actual purpose? You're our enemy, and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the World Ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created! Huh? No, no. Well, you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends! <laughs> that timer... has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero... Everything will end. The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey. And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one go. Hmm. And then you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. A new world? Don't go Shay and shit all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as a bonus! Yeah. <laughs> While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Ching. your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going. Forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why I didn't look back on everything that happened until now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen. And burrowed deep into my sheets, as if I were trying to hide. 
In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. And then the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything, anyway? How far... How much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, future foundation, Host Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our backs on all that? And not just that, if we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope Speak Academy? That was my last night at Jabberwock Island. At a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. I feel like I had a fun dream. Somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right. It's the last day. According to Monokuma. <gasps> Suddenly, my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear like I had abandoned in this world. Like I'd been abandoned in this world. Completely. Utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyihiko, Akane, Sonia. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything. Like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Ah! I rushed out of the cottage desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage... Desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage. Desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage. Desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage. Desperate to escape. I rushed out of the cottage. Desperate to. When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Ah, oh, Hajime, good time. <laughs> what? Good time. What do you mean? Hmm? Remember Nagita's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, when we were dealing with the bomb ruckus. What about it? Well, Apparently there was more to that message inside that laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Mm. Did he set it up so we, we wouldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Wh why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagato planned to leave this as a will. Nagato's will? Where is it right now? We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Go, got it. The restaurant. What, 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 what? Yo. Hey, you're late! Is it true? Nagato really left another message? <laughs> Nibble for Miss Sonia and thank her! She was the one who found it! <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster and I found it when I stopped by the factory. Well. <clears throat> a coincidence, you say? Wrong! That is the will of causality guiding you. Okay, okay, hold on. My two favorite characters are back. What's going on? What's going on? Why would Miss Sonia be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. So anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. I wonder who's watching this message. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would. Damn. Nagito was trying to kill everyone except for the traitor? Damn it! It was just as Monokuma said. Hey, hey. So he 
really set up the traitor as the killer. And he even tried to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> Enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. Why are there dead people here? But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, then unfortunately I guess I lost. That outcome's the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters to me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak to so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... The Future Foundation trader must have known that truth all along. What? What truth? And so, I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolved to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I wanted to become a protagonist myself. Okay, fourth wall. Okay, fourth wall. Okay, fourth wall. Stay where you are. But now that I know that truth, as I look back on Monoguma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all your hopes. But only so that he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... Seriously pissing me off. All the ba 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 da. Some words. Okay. Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? But, that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go. The key to enter the place is is that message you found at Nizumi Castle. Well, Normally, you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an Easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monomi. But that has nothing to do with me. Uh, you guys still think you're... not gonna... There's something. Stop it. Don't stop. What? I had to hide this unit till my plan came to an end. But I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then I'll announce the password. 11037. That's it. That's the password that was written in, Nen in Nizumi Castle. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my final duty's finished. I... Believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. This was Nagito's final message. That 11037 number that Nagato said was the password. There's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter that ancient ruin. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. You're right. Let's go. I can't fast travel.
Somehow it is quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? What's going to be in there? You are a boy, it's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? <laughs> There's also that countdown. There's no time to stand around. What the fuck? Damn right, it's our last chance to get inside. I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, the kills. Ah, uh, if you're gonna let it out, why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? Dumbass. Hey, now's not the time to fuck around! It's gonna be alright, you don't have to worry. I'll protect you, young master. Now then, let's go forward together. The hell? Don't treat me like a kid! This is your Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. What was that? I told her that you only understand piggy talk. I said you're so cool in piggy talk. In the name of my I'm going to kill you. The password, please. Yeah, yeah, I know. 11037, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need to you wor for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way... Huh? Um, where did everyone go? Hmm? Everyone? What? Something's wrong. What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... This world. Hold on, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. How long is that chapter?
All right, so chapter six has a class trial and everything. So it looks like I'm gonna save chapter six for next time. All right. So this game is getting crazy, like insane. So I'm gonna, uh, I guess I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, you guys. <laughs> uh, it was good playing it. Thanks to everybody who stuck around and played and uh, you know watched me play and chatted with me and stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.